It's the Bob and Tom Show. From Chicago, comedian Mike Toomey here with us. How's winter treating you? It's been rough on pretty much all over the country. There've been it's, it's been really horrible. Hot I mean, where we, it's supposed to be cold, cold where it's supposed yeah. to be hot. Driving in this blizzard last week, we got nailed with it, and I'm sliding. And this is the weirdest thing. This is where you start trying to apply your driver education skills to actual driving. Mm -hmm. Thirty years later or twenty years later, <laughs> I'm sliding off the road, and this voice comes back in my head. Remember the films, the old yeah. When your car starts to slide. Steer in the direction of the skid. Uh -huh. Which I'm skidding towards an oncoming <laughs> semi. <laughs> that it's, 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 it's that philosophy of when someone shoots you, move in the direction of the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> That's that guy. <laughs> I haven't heard. I'm, I'm getting all teary eyed. Fall directly on the knife. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know that guy, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I wanted to kill that guy. I mean, I, I, my nightmares I'd hear is because he did all the uh, the anti drug films mm -hmm. that they made in the 50s and never updated. At least when I was in high school, still running strong. The you know sure. the black and white the kid with the crew cut. You know, Billy got mixed up with the wrong bunch of boys. <laughs> <laughs> They want Billy to sample marijuana. <laughs> Careful, Bill. It's the devil. <laughs> Careful, Bill. <laughs> Billy succumbs to peer pressure and underestimates the power of the evil weed. <laughs> Look out, Bill. You can't stop that locomotive with your face. <laughs> Good morning. Wake and bake. Woohoo! Oh no, be woohoo, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. <laughs> Hello, indeed. You a little sleepy, are you? A little bit. Okay. Well, listen. I think we should start off by saying a big newscast. Yeah. I'm so glad you got mentioned in the Harry Carey will. Those glasses are wow. so, uh... I know. Those are, those are big. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't come with a nose. Those are, uh, that's a fashion choice, and I don't think you have, uh, you're allowed to make any uh, comments on fashion. You yeah. know that. If we want to kill some ants, let's go outside and take those glasses and hold them in the sun. Wow. <laughs> They're big, you see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to wake you up here. Come on, come I know, I'm on. Get trying. your get the defense on. Come on. Uh, Put that defense. I on. I can't make fun of you. You signed my check. No, no, no. Tell him to sign your check. Try this. <laughs> I tell someone to sign. Oh, try that. It'll be ridiculous. Tom, shut up. Try that. No, it'll make I you don't. Feel good. Mm -mm. Oh, I, I think it'll upset my tummy. We're trying to get you to wake up. <laughs> Have you had any coffee or anything? No, I got to do coffee like two hours in. No kidding. I get too jittery. Yeah, I've got some tea. Oh, nice. Are you still uh, one of your uh, uh, benchmarks, if you will, of being an adult? Black coffee is what it that was, was a, yeah. a goal for yes, you? Yes, yes. That was, yeah. I knew I was a grown-up when I could drink black coffee. Because her, her dad, I think, drank Yeah, black my dad coffee. never added anything to Oh, that's coffee. interesting. Yeah, yeah. And so I just, so, uh, so far I drink black coffee. I voted in every major election. Oh, hey. And that's about it. <laughs> how, how are you doing so far? Not great. I'm about 50 50 <laughs> in my election voting over the years. So. Yeah. What do you mean? Your guy won? Your yeah, guy lost? Yeah, or? my guy won about half. Yeah. Do you feel like that reflects on you if your guy wins or loses? Or? Uh, no, no. Uh, and, and right now I am just want it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't stand it. Um, I always thought well, I'd be an adult when I could go in and buy a car for cash. I thought that would be my, my big. Not buy my mom a house or anything. Okay. Of course. But, uh, yeah, I thought that would be... Yeah, uh, my, mine uh, was uh, having a dog. Okay. I, You know, we kid each other a lot, Tom. At least I think it's kidding. And uh, that's one of the best pieces of advice you ever gave me. Go get a dog, man. It's not for everybody, but yeah, for some people. I just always wanted... I, Calm I, down. I, I get a dog. I didn't have... Uh, you know, get my men I finally got established. I had a car payment and a dog. Yeah. <laughs> and an apartment and a, a contract that was for th good for three months in case I got <laughs> fired. Yeah, that was yeah scary. I remember when I was first starting out uh, living uh, by myself uh, and I uh, wanted to go buy a car and I had to arrange for a loan. But uh, my even then, my 
credit was bruised and battered. <laughs> so I was very proud of the fact that I was renting a television from one <laughs> of those rent-to-own places. RTO. So I made sure that the car dealership know, knew that I was renting this TV and that I was all up to date on my payments right on time. And he goes, you know, uh, this is one of the red flags for us if somebody can't afford to buy a TV. <laughs> oh. If you have to rent And those TV. things were expensive to rent. Oh, it, oh yeah. yeah, yeah I ended up pay, paying $3,000 for Yeah, you could, you could have yeah. bought a TV after renting it for six weeks. Absolutely. That's one yeah. of the catch-22s of life, isn't it? To yeah. establish credit, you need to have credit. In order to get credit, you right. need to have established credit. And in order to have credit, you need to get credit, but then you don't need credit. And apparently the best, <laughs> yeah. the, the best way to get a credit card is to not pay another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they love you. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. serious. They, man, exactly. they, they want you to move balances, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. love that, I'm not sure man. How that works. Um, uh, coming up, we have uh, some fascinating stuff in the world of news and sports. I introduced no one. Because no one was in here. Yes. There's uh, Pat Godwin in the right performance here. room. There That's he is. there. Okay, very good. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Hi. There's Ace Cosby and that joke of the day on the way. Happy National Burrito Day. Oh, how about that? All right. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. Um, I didn't know that, so there'll be no burritos. Oh, yes, we have no burritos <laughs> You've never today. had a burrito, right? You want to taste one? Heard good things. Yeah, oh, well, you heard good uh, things about it. We can it. go right. get you one. Um, <laughs> now, tomorrow, we will not be in these chairs. No. We will be in, uh, I'm assuming there'll be chairs, uh, when we do our broadcast from West Virginia. I'm looking forward to it, uh, and... Um, we have some uh, special treats, including Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. And we have uh, the Brass to Mouth Horn section joining us tomorrow. We'll be in Charleston, West Virginia. Um, and uh, this show will be broadcast at its usual time. And we'll, we hope to see you there. How about that? <laughs> at uh, uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Yeah, and I bring that up because uh, we have a news story coming up about time and um, outer space. It's kind of interesting. Um, and uh, the physics of time on the moon, it's oh, it, it yeah. gets really tricky. Yeah. But uh, right now we've we've got ourselves. Uh, we know what time it is. Check your local listings. I think Mars is like uh, a year is like three hundred and seventy two days or well, something. Well, that's different. It's it's not the orbiting. It's uh, no. It, it's really complicated. It's all the clocks are set back. Is that? I, I do. I forget what it is. You think they reset the clocks on the moon? You think that's a possibility? Well, they have to. Yeah, they have to. We'll find out about that. Yeah. Uh, we have a solar eclipse news, of course. I mean, there's a lot, lot, uh, and a stunning uh, survey uh, from the Ohio State University. Yes. About uh, how um, amazingly ignorant people are about the solar eclipse. We'll try to help you get through it with uh, some interesting information. The Grim Reaper is in the news today. That's right, the Grim Reaper. Um, uh, and we'll find out why. Dr. Doctor Death, Mr. Mr. Dead, Mr. Uh, what do they call him? Yeah, by uh, invitation. By, oh, yeah, well, we'll that's nice. Uh, in, in sports, you want to give me the uh, little uh, tease, a Show taste of what's going on? Tani. Show them what? what? I thought that's been long since been abandoned. I thought that was abandoned as well. No, I thought it was Hey Otani. <laughs> no, it doesn't work though. Anyway, he had his first home run for uh, home run for his new team, the Dodgers. Okay. So that's exciting. And his uh, teammates chose to shower him with sunflower seeds when he crossed home plate. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but mm. evidently it must be. Well, they're handy because the guys are chewing on them. Yeah, from uh, their mouths? Uh, they Some of them did look Chewed, yeah. Oh. Don't they do that at weddings? Or, uh, they they throw rice. Uh, rice right? I thought it was no. You can't throw rice. No, no. Yeah, that, like that, peanuts. That's, no, that's not correct. Uh, they make birds blow up. That's absolutely and, correct. And, and no, that's a urban legend. No, I don't, they, I don't they think it is. To death, yeah. You tell me, my pet pigeon that blew up. You tell him, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pigeon. He was just out there. He smelled rice. It well, was he was his favorite. Too. Yeah, I thought. I thought that you met Peter. He's a hell of that a. That became a real thing. Don't throw rice. Then I thought it, they they undid that. Oh, I'm sure they did. Now it's uh, I like to, I like I like to throw a partially cooked pasta, <laughs> couscous, oh. a little couscous, a little al dente. Uh, you ever yeah. use the term couscous, couscous for a girl? I have. Yeah. Look at that Never couscous works. over there. <laughs> Never heard that. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? No. Hmm. I say couscous, but it, <laughs> she was conjoined. <laughs> they were, I should say. Is that, that hot? Do you like yeah. that? The conjoined twins? Is that I your love, thing? I love it so much. <laughs> that was in that, no, that was in the news last week. Yeah. 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 Joined at the head.
Where do you think would be the best place to be <laughs> joined to your twin? If good, you had good topic. Hip. Uh, hip. hip. Yeah. yeah, I think with a hip. You, you could probably lead as separate as you could if someone was I think on foot. Your, hip. In the, your foot. Like, every day would be like a three-legged race. <laughs> I got to think for those. That way you'd have, you'd have separate. Uh, genitalia, I think that'd be convenient. There'd be a lot of awkward, like you go to the bathroom. You have to agree. Yeah. No, no conjoined twins. Joined at the foot are staying conjoined. Yes. Yeah, that's an easy, that's an easy <laughs> it's, fix. It's, it's a usually, real easy yeah, fix. From well, the you, hips up, yeah, you're probably this, stuck together. This sounds like a Hallmark movie, and they can be separated, but they don't want to be. There. Oh, there's a there's a right. religious component. And, <laughs> oh. you know, there's there's some elderly wise man that we can't undo God's work. It's like that Rosie Greer movie. Oh, yeah, the man with two heads. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ray Milland and Rosie Greer. No way was that good, huh? <laughs> oh, that was terrible. And he, woke, he wakes up on the uh, operating table, and Rosie's still asleep after the procedure, and Ray Milland is <laughs> joined. They're joined at the shoulder, so he's looking over, and he says, is this some kind of joke? Oh. He's a, you know, Rosie Greer, is Rosie a Greer a large, man. large uh, African American former football player, right. Ray Milland, very aging, probably with bad credit, white dude. Oh, hence yeah. the uh, awkward uh, situation. Gotcha. Very funny. They, they, <laughs> that, that that deserves a remake. Yes. In, in th today's world, CGI that would be really <laughs> amazing. It would, it would look much better than the guy looks like he's standing behind. You. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just the from a cultural standpoint, that would be quite humorous. There are a couple of uh, uh, angles in that movie because I find it incredibly entertaining, where you can see the the second head kind of wiggling in an unnatural, <laughs> sure, sure. unnatural now, if way. We're, if we're casting the remake, I'm saying uh, Kevin Hart, yes, and maybe Gaffigan. Would he be the good staid white dude? Mm, maybe. Well, you got to go Will Ferrell, I think, for something like this, right? Yeah, that'd work. There's not uh, enough Will Ferrell in our our. I am, but Will's too goofy. Don't you want someone who's going to be a little more stoic, like a ga maybe, Gaffigan, maybe? maybe. I don't know. Uh, uh, Jim's going to be going out on tour. I'm sure we'll be talking to him again soon. Had a lot of fun yesterday um, with uh, Sam Miller. Already have some love letters. Um, about uh, Sam. Well, he's a lovable man, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. And uh, he's going to be in Wichita coming up starting tonight. Got a lot of uh, action going on on, this, on the stages of the world, including Richmond, Indiana, with Pat Godwin Saturday at the Fourth Floor Blues Club. We're going to have our special show with uh, Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oske, Josh, Christy and I, in Charleston, West Virginia, Friday night at the uh, beautiful theater in the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center, Ticketmaster.com for tickets for that baby. Um, um, anything else I need to mention? Uh, hey, Buffalo Bills fans, got some bad news for you. They still have Josh Allen, but he doesn't have anybody to throw to anymore. I'll tell you. I'll tell you who they traded and what's going on. Could be Stefan Diggs. But right now, I want to tell you about Raycon, the everyday earbuds, the perfect way to tune out all the noise in your life. And tune into something great like the Bob and Tom Show. The audio quality of the Raycon rivals all the big audio brands you know and love. At a price you'll love even more. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing. Raycons are up for the task. Raycons optimized gel tips are designed to fit every ear ever made. Additional features like, yeah, you can be on your phone, earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and they make a great Mother's Day gift. Aha. Raycon offers easy, easy peasy 30-day returns just in case. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 20% off your order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. One more time. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Now, Miss Hooker, you're a mom. I am. It'll be a great gift. I, I think but we have to give it to you in a special way. Maybe... Um, I'll put the Raycon earbuds in a little sack and tape it to the lawnmower and say, hey, uh, you want to go cut the grass? I have a little treat for you. You can listen to music while you do it. How about that? <laughs> sure. Is that better than putting them in the mashed potatoes? As long as I'm getting my Raycons, I'm happy. Uh, okay. Well, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, coming up, we have um, big monkey news. Big big news <laughs> about like monkeys yeah. or yeah. a big monkey? No, no, uh, big news about relatively smaller but mean, crazy monkeys. Oh, oh. And in sports, I'm counting this as sports. If, for those of you wondering why hasn't this happened before, at last, a time traveler has come back and he has what's going to happen in 2024. And these are all 
He's a time traveler, oh, so he's can, seen it, and it's Can all I talk happening. to him? I'd, I want to get some Powerball numbers. Wow. There wasn't a winner again. Nope. Uh, really? This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Jimmy Pardo. You are listening to Bob and Tom. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Obvious Show. I am your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's go right to the phones. Let's go. Just like them, yeah. Yeah, hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Hello. Is this Mr. Obvious? <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Obvious. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Well, thanks for calling. Now, what seems to be the problem, caller? Oh, Mr. Obvious. Yes? I think I've got a critter stuck in my pipes. <laughs> <laughs> under my kitchen sink. Huh, a critter, huh? Some sort of uh, animal? <laughs> what, what makes you think that? I can hear him down there making noises. <laughs> Noises, huh? <laughs> what sorts of uh, what sort of noises? Well, you know, kind of a growling noise, like a critter. <laughs> hmm. What's that? Uh, what's that sound like? Well, <laughs> it's sort of like ah, uh, <laughs> you know, like that. Huh. A critter <laughs> under your sink, huh? And and it's growling at you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear him down there. Sounds like he's trapped in the pipes or something. He's down there growling, kind of like... Is he padding the park? What's going on? I see. So this uh, this happens all the time? Mm, mostly it seems like it happens after dinner. Hmm. When my wife rinses leftover food down the drain, you can hear him down there. Eating. <laughs> e eating? Yeah. Huh. You know, <laughs> like that. Now, callers, anything else that seems to cause this growling? Well, now that you mention it, he seems <laughs> to do it every time she flips that light switch on by the sink. Hmm. Light switch, huh? Yeah. There's the switch by the sink. But it don't turn nothing on. <laughs> yeah. She'll flip it sometimes while she's doing the dishes, and boy, it makes him mad as anything. <laughs> hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Nine-time Olympic gold medalist, Carl Lewis. And now we go to our uh, flash traffic reporter, Carl Lewis, with uh, traffic on the west side. Hey, Bob and Tom, I'm on the west side, and traffic looks great. Now I'm going to run over to the far east side and take a look at traffic conditions over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on the east side now. Everything looks smooth over here. <laughs> Want me to check the north side? Uh, sure, sure, Carl. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
Oh, guys, traffic is running off the fine up here up north. Anything else you need? Uh, listen, Carl, uh, could you check south side traffic? I know it's a long way. You could uh, also pick up an iced tea for me, venti uh, green iced tea at Starbucks on your way, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, that's a little step, but I'll get there. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That was kind of a, a detour. But here, two splendid just like you like it. Oh, thank you very much, Carol. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, 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 Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay. I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. All right. Give me a pen. <laughs> this has been Fly Traffic with Carl Lewis. Don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Are we going to be focused on ladies' buns this morning? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, Ooh. I didn't know you cared for uh, cared for buns. Son, <laughs> in the right place, the right time, the back. Oh, really? yeah, Everyone's yeah. interested in not on their shoulders. So-called no. uh, booty, the badonka donk, I believe is the current <laughs> parlance. Man, I watched an Elizabeth Taylor movie yesterday. Oh. And she uh, she bent, uh, she got down on her hands and knees to stoke a fire. Oh yeah, and I did she stoke Stoked a fire? I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, it that could be just uh, awesome. the one with Montgomery Cliff and Shelley Winters. Place in the sun. Place in the sun. It was called uh, Reflections in a Golden Eye. Oh yeah, a classic. Mark, Marlon Brando, the great Brian Keith. Yeah, no what, what a hell of an actor he wow. is. Wow. Were butts different back then? I think I like kind of like how real. boobs were. Yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah, they were small, but because it wasn't great before then. She was in some writing crops or whatever the writing pants. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh no, she, I didn't know that she's so uh, gorgeous. Her ass it could look. Yeah. No, when she got in that position. I went, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there she blows. Yeah. So okay. that was uh, the theme of the film. Uh, it became for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. good Have you know. seen her in uh, Life with Father? No. Crazy beautiful. Yeah, she's she was a knockout. Yeah. And I you guess her seen, eyes uh, were turquoise or, or something. something. You ever seen when John Belushi did his impression of her when she got kind of uh, beefy and he's I uh, do remember uh, eating the chicken? That's yes. not what she was, though, Tom. Remember what you called her? A beef cadet? Remember? And it was chicken. I was wrong. Thankfully, we have one of her ex-husbands or, or maybe uh, Richard Burton is here. Richard, how, how do you feel about oh, Elizabeth yeah. Taylor? Yeah. Elizabeth Taylor is the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> you know, I, I, I agree. She's definitely one of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, um, <laughs> it's time Amazing. to move on with sports. Uh, uh, what do we have over there? You said you have some uh, revelatory. Uh... Uh, Shohei Otani hit his. Oh, wait a minute. Shohei Otani. Hey! Oh. <laughs> well, that's going to no. get old. Yeah, yeah that might be. I like that. That might be a little old. Like Costello? Yeah. 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 Um, that might be Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello. That was because it's kind of a, it goes hand in hand with Hello Dare, a little bit. No. 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 <laughs> Actually, Hello Dare is um, is uh, desired now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after, yeah. Perhaps I overthought this. I don't. Try know. it again. Show. Hey, Otani. Hey, I have. I have an idea. Yeah. What if you say show? Hit hey, cut it off halfway through, and then say Otani. Okay. Show. Hey! Otani. Well, like oh, yeah, that. that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Maybe get an edit of that. See? Uh, we right. just needed hello the polish. Here. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to help pick a load there. Okay, Ooh, where'd that come from? Uh, uh, show hey at a home run, and the Dodgers win 5 4 over their hated rival, the San Francisco Oversize. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Giants, Tom. By a score of five to four. Are you digging this voice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much. Very amusing. Not. Uh, NFL news. The Buffalo Bills have agreed to trade their wide receiver, Stephon Diggs, to the Houston Texans. The Bills acquired the Texans, um, in this reporter's opinion, almost nothing. A second-round pick in the 25 draft. Houston acquired in a trade with Minnesota. They also acquired Buffalo's sixth-round pick in this year's draft and a fifth-rounder next year. I can dig it. Mm. Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs. Can you dig Stefan Diggs? 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 Can you dig St
if I did Sorry. <clears throat> Can't help it. Love that song. Can you name the, um, oh, it, does it say who that is right there on the, on the. Uh, I think it's the Friends of Distinction. It's the Friends of Distinction. What do you, what, what do you suppose the other names they were thinking about? <laughs> they were friends better. of uh, the, the Gentlemen of the Underworld. No, that doesn't. Uh, I don't, that's when they used to name bands: Strawberry Alarm Clock, oh, yeah. Friends of Distinction, Moby yeah. Grape, Moby Grape. You liked Moby Grape, is that correct? No, no, no. I, I wasn't. I don't really know much about them. Except I, I, I like the the band, the name The Electric Prunes, if for no other reason than that would lead to the Electric Amish. Yeah. That, um, that sounds like something that if you really are constipated, you line up The Electric Prunes. Yeah. And see Contemporary technology has finally hit the world of prunes. <laughs> prunes are good, but if only we could electrify them. <laughs> no? I did a little bit there, Tom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, do you remember the... Uh, the great guitarist Ed King and Leonard Skinner. Sure, he's my favorite uh, member. Of Do you remember Skinner. the band that he was in? Um, I it's gone Ed, out of my head. Ed again. King, the Strawberry Alarm Clock. The Strawberry right? Alarm yeah. Clock. That's right. Yeah. And, and when Skinner in the early days, Skinner opened for those guys. They liked Ed. He ended up playing bass on their first album, and then became the guitarist and oh, came good. up with the famous Sweet Home Alabama riff. That's a good riff. Uh, uh, so the same uh, guy who uh, does uh, Incense uh, and Peppermints does Sweet Home Alabama. Yep. I yeah, know. Ed that is King. incredible. Great, isn't that nuts? Uh, but uh, weird name for a band. Oh, very odd, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. That, that, very that, yeah, there was an era of weird band names there. Yeah. Three Dog Night, I think, would be probably considered a weird Yeah, but that isn't really a psychedelic name. A Three Dog Night, I think, was a night when That's it was so cold, cold night, you had yeah. to have three dogs sleep mm-hmm. with you. Oh. There were three lead singers. That was the catch there. And uh, only one of them was uh, without heroin, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't know that. I, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm to hear that. Sure, oh, yeah. they had some mm-hmm. issues. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember the drummer's name? Floyd Sneed? Floyd Sneed. <laughs> Sneed. <laughs> Mr. Sneed. They were called Three Gram Night for a while there. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Three Gram Night? Is that what you said? Okay, very nice. Hey, coming up Friday, it's the uh, women's semifinals in the NCAA basketball tournament. You got South Carolina and North Carolina State. And then in the second game, uh, 9.30 Eastern Daylight, 8.30 Iowa time. It's Iowa and UConn. Then Saturday night, the semifinals in the men's. Uh, first game, Purdue and North Carolina State. And then uh, the, the nightcap, UConn and Alabama. But uh, the average price paid for a ticket on the resale market this week, twice as high for the NCAA women's Final Four compared to the men's semifinals, you heard me. Uh, that's according to technology company Logitech, who keeps track of this sort of things. They analyze prices across multiple platforms in the resale market. The average price of a ticket sold to the women's semifinal, $2,323. Wow. That, that, that's, that's the a, get-in price. Yeah. And 1000 bucks for the men's games. Oh, you man. That's crazy. How about that? What are you doing? Don't just keep looking at me. I'm busy over here. <laughs> I didn't see you look at him. I must have looked away for I just, a second. Uh, I, didn't, I thought he had something. Uh, and the game's... Uh, <laughs> well, let's... Uh, is this a... Uh, this isn't a stupid world record, stupid is it? Stupid world record. I don't ask him. He's busy. <laughs> Look at him. A Braves fan has shared a rare video of Hank Aaron's record-breaking 715th home run. 81-year-old Charlie Russo releasing his long private footage of the moment Aaron broke Babe Ruth's record on April 8, 1974. He filmed it on an 8-millimeter camera at Fulton County Stadium. He was filming Russo able to capture entertainers Sammy Davis Jr. and Pearl Bailey before the gates to the field opened, and he right. walked in with Aaron's family. See, because, I mean, there's obviously a lot of video footage or film footage in those days of Hank Aaron when he you know, gets 715, clearly. But this guy's got really rare footage because it features Sammy Davis Jr. Don't you think that's exciting? I love Sammy. Oh, you're being serious about this being exciting. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's very serious. And, uh, well, I think, uh, as you know, Sammy Davis Jr., do you, you know much about Sammy? Well, sure. Member of the Rat Pack. Yeah, fine singer, actor. Incredibly talented. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Just to play one, all the instruments. Just had the one eye, you know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's her, you know. Remember how you uh, got the one eye? It was a car accident. Really? No, there was speculation that there might have been a <laughs> some kind of under mm. underworld thing. Well, you know, there was mo- a, people there, money. The, uh, there might have been a problem there. But oh. um, I thought in honor of Sammy Davis Jr., we'd be remiss no. if we okay, didn't play this me. this classic. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, performing a musical number written especially for this evening, the Disco Lifestyle Awards are proud to present Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, man. The Disco Lifestyle Awards. Sammy Davis Jr., of course, won the first and last and only (laughs) Disco Lifestyle Lifetime Achievement Award. I have no memory of that whatsoever. And you don't have it on uh, uh, VHS tape or anything, Ace? I think it was made up. Oh, no, Ace Ace thinks it's made up. No, I can prove it wasn't. I thought you were going to play Haywood. Yeah, the one I oh, yeah. the one I love. That's what oh. I thought he was gonna. Uh, well, you were wrong. It was about. Uh, it was about. Okay, all right. <laughs> it was hey, about... everybody. Uh, hi, you guys. Start your day with us because we're all in a good mood. Okay? It was about Whatever, Sammy Chet. Davis Whatever. Jr. Do you see the song? Uh, because Sammy Davis Jr. was in this film of Hank Aaron, and I'm, I, this is like the Zapruder film. <laughs> you see, in today's world, you're totally ignoring Pearl Bailey. I'm insulted. Didn't you have a tisket a tasket? Let us see your that's, <laughs> That was Ella. That's Ella Ooh. Fitzgerald. It is. It is you know, oh, you, huh. no, you, now I blame you. Huh. <laughs> when we're, we have an Ella Fitzgerald reference that can mean only one thing. Oh, no, no, no. no we're not no, going to. No, no, that's what we need to get us right back on solid footing. No, no, no. Now, do you know what the Zapruder film is? No. Are you kidding? No. I'm not it's kidding. It's okay. Not a, not a lot of people. You, as soon as he tells you what it is, you'll know. Okay, but what not, is not it? many people know. Um, Abraham Zapruder was, I believe, a tailor. Is that correct? And he was... Uh, <laughs> really uh, starting in the weeds. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, now, what's a tailor? Like a James Taylor? Uh, no, no. Uh, and uh, on uh, the Friday, November 22nd, 1963, okay. he had his... Uh, there was People didn't have cameras in their phones. They didn't have... They weren't carrying phones around. Sure. He had a... Uh, I believe it was... He recorded eight, the Kennedy shooting. <laughs> no, he did... Well, <laughs> <laughs> but I, if, Josh, I would have never guessed that that's where he was going. <laughs> no, and uh, and there, there was a controversy for the longest time because they cut out the most critical frame, the, the frame of the where film. the head I, gets I, blown I, off. I'm thinking, okay, did this guy embroider a scene of something? <laughs> right. Like I didn't know, I had no idea it had anything. I mean, to do that wouldn't really. I think I think an embroidered version of the Kennedy assassination. I, I might you might get a few dollars of a garage sale. Teachers, this is an important lesson. Tom is a product. Of yeah. a, a time when teachers would go, your paper has to be 10 pages long. 10 pages long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your paper has to be 5,000 words. So, here's the thing. In t- in today, oh, here's the thing. In today's okay. culture, you, you go to a concert, you, everything is someone's videotaping. Right. They're probably never going to watch it, but they're videotaping. You, you mm-hmm. see any famous person now, you look around, everyone around them is holding up their phone mm-hmm. taping. It's super annoying. But in those days, that didn't happen. You'd have to uh, carrying around a camera was pretty rare. He's out on the weeds again. And Abraham Zapruder got the famous Kennedy footage that's used in the in the uh, movie JFK. Yeah, they, they employ that there. But uh, it, 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 Mr. Zapruder famously took that footage, and the FBI 
looked at it immediately. It's a great story, but um, this is kind of like the Zapruder film because this guy has this uh, this not at all like the uh, this fo these photographs of, of Hank Aaron. With I think he's a dick. I'm 81. I, well, I guess I'll go ahead and release him now. He's <laughs> held on to him for so long. Yeah. I walked in with Hank Aaron and his family. So what, yeah. old man? But it's Sammy, I'm not showing anyone. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. I, okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, remember that uh, morning where on a uh, major radio show uh, where uh, we talk with each other and we make eye contact and everything? Tom... <laughs> Tom yelled at me, stop looking at me, I'm busy over here. Remember that morning? Well, I was trying to find something, wasn't that and I, I wasn't listening, and was you all it, of a sudden... What, uh, so you, that's my fault that you weren't <laughs> listening, you giant prick. Well, it, was, it was so boring. Boy, oh I was, boy. Hey, did, by the way, do you know that the Rhode Island School of Design... RISD? Their, mas their mascot is a scrotum and a penis. What? It really is, or just it looks really like is. They call him Scroat. Yes. Wow. How odd. Honest That's to gosh. That's not true. Look it up. Scrot. Touchdown for Chick. That's right. It happened. <laughs> the Scroat. The Scroat. That's where David Byrne went. Yeah. Heads the band. Oh well, now uh, Talking uh, Heads. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, what about uh, fine, uh, fine artists from RISD? Rock Lobster. Uh, He's right. No. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there it is. Uh, verified by the lady. Looks a like a. Nutsack. A <laughs> scrotum and a oh, kind of a blobby, uh, yeah. yeah, ball yeah. bag there. Yeah, and they, they call the basketball team the Nads. <laughs> so they can go, go Nads. That's of course, exactly yeah. right. Yeah, That's very exactly good. right. Very good. Um, uh, what's coming up in sports? Uh, well, evidently, we've got, um, we're, we're going to talk about the president's racing in the Washington Nationals. We're going to visit the Detroit Pistons. Former champs of basketball. basketball. I have so many. And uh, Tom. Un we did it. Tom unleashed <laughs> something. Uh, lots and lots of facts about Abraham Zapruder coming up. Oh, okay. No, I, I think it's a, a, a certain uh, cultural moment. It's important to know about. Now I know. Uh, <laughs> did he make one cent off of that? Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, did he, he did? end up making money? Yeah, to edit sure? the parts they asked him to. <laughs> yeah, no, they. No, no, he, his family settled and they sold it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, t Life magazine bought it for a great deal of money. Was mm. he just on the parade route? Yeah, he was just yeah. hanging yeah. out. Yeah. He was on the grassy knoll in, in front of one of the shooters. Right, one yeah. of them. Uh, right. yeah, yeah. You can actually hear it when you listen. You can yeah, hear the bullets. Well, the there, were the, <laughs> there were three, three yeah, shooters. There were not. Oswald did it alone. <laughs> um, uh, now, we have. Uh, hey, Josh. Yes, sir. Stop looking at me! <laughs> well, I was wondering if you were in any discomfort, and I don't mean... I'm busy over here. ...mental or emotional. I don't have time to do this show. You know, I think maybe... Shut up! I'm busy! Fair enough, Chick. <laughs> what Chick doesn't have is back pain, hip pain, or knee pain. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really good. That's because he has a strong foundation. That's right. What the heck is going on with your foundation? Is it wobbly like a bad table? Well, maybe it's because... That thin liner that came with your shoes is offering you zero support. You need better support, and Orange Insoles can give it to you. If you work on your feet all day, you're putting stress on your body. Orange Insoles offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and therefore your whole body, helping to alleviate that discomfort. And guess what? They're great for all kinds of footwear, work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, you name it. We haven't figured out yet if they're good for clown shoes. Uh, we'll yeah. have to... Mm. Yeah, so I, th I think they are. I, I have an email here from uh, uh, Mr. Silliman. He says, uh, <laughs> my knees hurt. Can they help me with my giant shoes? We're going to get back to you, Mr. Silliman. Okay. Be patient. OriginSouls.com is the place to go. You can take their insole quiz, answer a few questions, and they'll get you uh, sized up and make sure that you have the right depth of arch and all that stuff. And you can tell them what you do for a living. So, Mr. Silliman, let them know you're a clown and that you're in. It would be a great video if they showed a clown taking off the clown shoes and, in fact, his feet were huge and splayed out at the end like an oar. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Head to orangeinsoles.com today. Free shipping, plus orange insoles come with a 60-day we want you to be happy guarantee, so there's nothing to lose here. Also, they come true to size. You're not going to have to break out the scissors and cut these out. Nope, they're going 
going to be ready to be worn immediately. That's orangeinsouls.com. Feel better, do more. Do you know that at Clown College, there's an entire <laughs> course on how to get out of a car while wearing clown shoes? <laughs> oh, wow. It's oh, not easy. It has to be. Yeah, yeah. Can't you, be you, got, you got you get you know, 20 guys in a Volkswagen. <laughs> I've heard that's the final, is what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's your thesis. We had a guy that went to Clown College. In yes, we did. The, yeah. the most what? sour person. He wasn't on the sour, he was a nice guy. Oh, well, it's a shame. He had to, he had uh, forty five minutes, but boy, he had lacked a sense of humor. I'll tell you. Oh, all right, yeah. it's false. Oh, uh, well, now uh, when we come back, um, we have uh, cool stuff coming up today about NASA um, and about uh, garage. Ever uh, been going through your garage and you find live grenades? No. <laughs> well, this guy did. We'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. It turns and sways. Okay. Well, thanks for the call. Uh, have a great day today. We're going to move And I've got forward. one more thing. May I say one more thing? I, I've I been guess. waiting 20-some years for this. Is, uh, <laughs> is everybody listening? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. listening. Uh -huh. Okay. Chick, go back 20-some years, 1998, Fort Wayne, Indiana, all weekend <laughs> with me. <laughs> What? There we go. Yes. Well, finally. Finally. I have. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Remember and listen to this. You ordered. You or you went by your la your real name oh, when you checked oh, in, and geez. you invited me for the weekend. Now wait. Oh God. I'm gonna get shot for this. And you ordered grapes and Miller Light beer. Yeah, that sounds like me, all right. That's right. Yep, that's oh, me. Okay, okay yeah. Deborah, we got to go here. <laughs> Christy, give me the teaser. <laughs> that couldn't have gone better. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I blame you. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, where do we go from here? Hey, hi, I'm Tom. This is Chick. That's Josh. And this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston. The Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere, than 100 miles of Charleston or D. Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Like cash. Concert promoter Live Nation says live music has rebounded since the start of the pandemic and then some. Live Nation, which owns Ticketmaster, says in a filing with regulators, 145 million people attended concerts, a jump of 20 percent over the previous year. Live Nation did not give attendance figures for 2020, which, of course, COVID-19 at its height. But it does say attendance in 2019 was 98 million. In terms of worldwide revenue, Taylor Swift had the top tour, followed by Beyonce, then Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up.
Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what? you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Bob and Tom 24-7. Oh, he was so sweet. It was our first date, and he went all out. He bought me dinner, he got me drunk, and then I got bald. Oh, <laughs> did you ever? It was perfect. Britney Spears recently shocked the world with her latest fashion statement. Oh. A completely shaved head. Now, to commemorate Britney's new look, Bob and Tom Labs is proud to introduce their new perfume. Bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. A fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> she's kooky. She's crazy. And she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her she was gonna get bald, but she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> okay. Almost everybody wants to get bald. Be sure to get some today. Just look for the slick box, and you'll know you're getting bald. B A L D. Bald. Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is for the people going through heartbreak right now, and you don't know what to do about it. Okay. Get sick, turn my stomach, throw up, up, chuck, pray to the porcelain god. Barf, belch, bail out, blow chunks, lose lunch, vomit, feed the fish, and heave a log. <laughs> Evacuate, all you ate, retch, rop, regurgitate, drop your cookies, puke, and spew. Pearl, purge are just a few words that come up when I think about you. <laughs> Quality material. how you doing? Real good, man. Well, Waking up a it. shopping list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm. Uh -huh. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on those posture pedic seal a meal, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't lived till you're making love, and your wife says, "Go slow. I'm spilling my chili." <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob, coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I'm not sure what we're talking about today, but uh, I'll I'll figure it out right along with you folks. <laughs> That's half the fun. Yeah, and here's Tom. Hello, Tom. What do you got over there? I was just having some cereal. Oh, what what kind? Uh, well, uh, usually uh, uh, cornflakes oh, and... Um, are you belching it up? Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I had to throw it down. I'm running a little bit late this morning. Got a lot to do today. So um, <laughs> we're going to be doing this show tomorrow from West Virginia. Are you driving by yourself? Uh, gloriously, yes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Is that honestly the way you're looking at it? Because you should look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got his podcast picked out. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, you're going to go book or podcast? What do you I've, I've got both options. We'll see All what right. I end up doing. Okay. Uh, but uh, I wanted to say hello to uh, our friend Sam Miller, was our guest yesterday, the comedian, and he uh, played, uh, what was it called, uh, Frank's Hot Dogs or something in St. Louis? Steve's. Steve's. Steve's Hot Dogs, sorry. Got a nice letter here uh, from um, Leah in St. Louis saying how much she loved Sam's shows. Sam's in Wichita uh, starting tonight, right? Yes. Uh, so if you get a chance, you can go see uh, Sam Miller. He is, uh, I want to say, at a place called Vorshays in Wichita tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. My baby, she's a Wichita. <laughs> what? <laughs> that uh, country she's song? Wichita. I'm not familiar witch. with that one. My baby, she's a Wichita. Wichita. Tim McGraw. Yeah. Oh, implying that she's a witch? 
No, a, 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 a member of the Wichita tribe. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. Okay, that, that that makes sense. I'm an Indian outlaw. Half Cherokee, half Cherokee and, and Choctaw. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you're, My baby, you, she's you a Chippewa. You could be you could be singing Chinese for all I know. Oh, <laughs> no, no idea. Wow. Sounds like a good yeah, song. I think so. Sounds you very enjoyable. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tomorrow night, the Bob and Tom Comedy Tour <laughs> is up and running with uh, Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oski, and Joshi, oh, and uh, uh, Pat T Godwin, and T G and Christy, Willie Griswold, and Josh Arnold. Yes. Well, don't worry, I won't be uh, Christy Lee. doing any parodies of Tim McGraw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that was good. Uh, Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center, the big theater there. Uh, tickets, Ticketmaster. Uh, we'll hope to see you there. And then we're doing this uh, the, uh, live radio show from that same venue tomorrow morning. Looking forward to that. Uh, you be in good voice, Pat. I hope so. I'm taking. Wait a minute. Away. I'm I'm worried about Pat. How's he going to? He is unfamiliar. Yeah, he with, got bumped. He's uh, unfamiliar with traveling. I don't know if he can uh, get to Charleston. He's all up in the air about this sort of thing. Aren't you? It's going to be a rough, a rough go. Yeah, you didn't. You and Pat. We usually go together. Travel before together. You what know, happened? I have a show in. I have a no girls rule. Ooh, oh, no well, girlfriends. Is, Oh, Pat's a lady's... Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, she can ride in our car. She's a delight. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's real disappointed she can't be in your car. Subjected. <laughs> yeah. Kennedy podcast. <laughs> I can explain to her the one-gun theory of the uh, Kennedy assassination. I have a four-hour podcast on England Dan. <laughs> you, so. A lot of people say John Ford Cole. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 England right. Dan. Everyone. I'm actually listening to a fascinating book about uh, the Allman Brothers Band and the uh, uh, creation the of their oh, great God. album, Brothers the and Cena Sisters. Added, it's playing in hell right now. <laughs> the Cena added a lot more than you think. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the U.S. government ordered, yeah, uh, not yesterday, this is a story about Abraham Zapruder, Tom, that I uh, dug what? up for you. Uh, to pay the heirs of amateur filmmaker Abraham Zapruder $16 million for seizing one of the nation's most uh, uh, macabre Artifacts, the 26-second film capturing President John F. Kennedy's last moments. An arbitration panel charged with determining the value of the film said the figure might be on the low side. The arbiters said that they could imagine a wealthy collector paying twice. Boy, that would take to want to own the film. Yeah, that's odd. I mean, right? the actual real film? Yes, yeah. yes. So the, the family was, when was this award made? Um, I don't know that yet. Hmm. I remember in the early days, I believe Life Magazine bought the rights to it. In, in any event, we were discussing this because we had a fascinating news story about uh, in sports. Zapruder died in 1970. I had no idea. Oh, oh uh, in sports, uh, a guy has some homemade home movies of Hank Aaron walking into the stadium <laughs> on the day of the 715th home run featuring Sammy Davis Jr., which, I mean, you don't see that. Any Sammy Davis Jr. fans? Now, Not really. Now, Pat has a... <laughs> And Pat has an actual great story. Would oh, you yeah. can you tell that yeah. on the air? Do you mind? No, I don't mind at all. My grandfather was uh, retired, and he was a huge baseball fan. And we're all hanging out with him, watching that particular game. And Hank Aaron hits the seven fifteen there, and they replay it over and over. Uh, do, so hang on one second. Do you know the significance of this? No. Jess Hooker. No. Uh, Babe Ruth famously hit seven hundred and fourteen home runs. Oh, okay, okay. So this was one of those records that thought no sure. one would ever break, and of course, uh, the yeah, great huge. Hank Aaron. Uh, but it's a huge moment in sports. Go ahead, Pat. My, what happened? My grandfather was just starting to lose it at that time or so. We thought we didn't know for sure. And so they replay the, the, the home run over and over and over again. And my grandfather goes, they got to get rid of that pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a true story. Yeah. I mean, that's it's sad in a way because, yeah. you know, it, there's you know, the, the dementia thing can get... Yeah, we didn't know if he was joking. It's pretty ugly yeah, there yeah, after a while. But, hmm. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Sorry. They made that award to the Zapruder family in 1999, by the wow. way. Wow. There you go. That's a lot of money. And yeah. I'm sure he... Natural causes they have listed for 1970. His no death, kidding. The government causes. had a Oh, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, there's no doubt. Smoky yeah, man probably. walked in and took oh, yeah. Zapruder. Uh -huh. Had some soup for lunch. Was dead by the afternoon. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, his jaw uh, what else swelled up... Uh, let's talk about the Detroit Pistons. That's right. Last night, Malachi Flynn. He wants you too, Malachi. Scored 
Children of the Corn. Oh. 50 <laughs> points. Okay, okay, this, you know, we do a lot of obscure references on this show. But you, you, yeah. you do, yes. Minor at least. So far, we've had Abraham Zapruder, Tim McGraw, and Children of the Corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good, for the first hour. I mean, if you, look, I've decided if you're going to do it, I got to do it that's for, fine. for my people. That's fine. You just have to explain them, though, sometimes. No, no, no. I see. I, that's where you and I disagree. For those who get it, they love it. For those who don't, yeah. uh, you know, learn something. Well, that's, it's, see, it's he takes. You. He doesn't uh, just assume that everyone's stupid, is what Josh is Right. I talk to up to my audience. No, no, it's not stupid. It's ignorant. There's a distinction. <laughs> Albert Einstein wasn't stupid, but if you handed him a cell phone, he wouldn't know what to do with it you know, for my a few goal, minutes. My goal is to often be stupid and ignorant with one sentence. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the show. More on the Pistons and Malachi Flynn coming up. All right. He the, set us um, uh, an ignominious, is that a word, uh, record like last night. Well, how about yeah. that? Also, uh, drinking habits. Do you drink as much as your husband or wife? I try uh, to keep up, uh, <laughs> and that could be a good, that could be a good thing. Where right. do you find out why? This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. What's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. 
orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All See right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh! Josh! Did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. My new negligee. Do you think it fits? Oh, yeah, it looks great. What do you think of mine? <laughs> She's invisible and insatiable. Gee, Cindy, this bed sure feels lumpy. Boy, that's uncomfortable. Come to Papa. You know you want it. <laughs> invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Followed by the fast paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish Power Forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God above us. It's Carl Goodman, Amish Power Forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Thursday on ABC. Ye be thar. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Do a, actually, I'm doing a CNN interview with Ted, or else I'd go with him. Do Larry King. First time, I'm very Larry. excited. Yeah, I just want him to go, Saskatchewan, hello! <laughs> Can you turn down the electric blanket? <laughs> I can't turn off the fan above the oven. <laughs> <clears throat> I go, you know what I'm going to do, Larry? We're going to try to get your shoulders a little higher. You can do that. <laughs> Why are my suspenders so tight? Because <laughs> they don't go around your... Larry, that's why they go, uh, see, if you let them go, the shoulders will do that. You won't look like a, you know, you look like a vulture in heat. You know, you know, Muncie, hello! Question for the skinhead! But it's strange living back in America, you know? I've, I mean, America's like a foreign country to me in a lot of ways. Why? I just, I don't know, things are weird. You know, I have friends that don't eat bread anymore. Everybody's on a low-carb diet. No. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right? <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Bob and Tom's in the family, Peterman Brothers. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. And uh, she's trying to do nine things at once. Uh, she's on the on the hunt for a specific Sharpie, evidently. I found it. <laughs> We're good. There's been trouble. There's Pat Godwin. He's hey. over there in the uh, performance room. There's Josh Arnold. She's known about the Sharpie for two days. I, heard. <laughs> so. I didn't. I couldn't remember where I put them. It's on me. <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. Yes, I'm teasing you. I'm Chick McGee, and here's... <laughs> I'm usually good with the teasing, but the oh. day before these shows, oh. not as much. I'm glad you said something. <laughs> Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, uh, we're getting ready to uh, head out, um, and we will be doing this show tomorrow from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great, and I um, hope to see you there in Charleston, West Virginia. Um, now, uh, we are returning to the sports page briefly, I understand. Uh, it's uh, April Fool's Day was Monday. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd think it was yesterday because the Pistons' Malachi Flynn scored 50 points last night. I can hear you from out. Who? Who's Malachi Flynn? Well. Now, is that known as a 50-burger? It is known as the 50-burger. He dropped 50-burger on, uh, on the Atlanta Hawks, and he set a record for the lowest scoring average before scoring 50 in an NBA game. He, oh, okay. So. He was averaging like 6.2 points a game or something. And last night, of the Detroit Pistons, 
He scored 50 points. Wow. Did, did he take some kind of a pill? Was, did he get um, a flubber? I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know what flubber is? No. Uh, oh, God. That was my favorite movie when I was a the kid. The Absent Minded Professor? Fred oh, McMurray. Absent Minded yeah, Professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> Robin Williams did a remake. Did. They're, they're playing did, the basketball yeah. game. <laughs> they're flying up in the air. Yeah. God, that was funny. God, that was <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'm doomed. I'm uh, absolutely doomed. <laughs> well, if you're talking about the Detroit Pistons, former champs of basketball. That's right. The Detroit Pistons, former champs of basketball. Everybody. <laughs> I have so many souvenirs. <laughs> it's hard to list them all. Ho! Oh, I have piston pants. I have piston shorts. I have piston beer mugs. Sometimes people don't even notice. <laughs> I have piston <laughs> pants. I have piston shoes. I have piston basketballs. When I dribble, they do too. <laughs> hey! There you go. Uh, they play that for all the piston games, and they throw the octopuses out in the ice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the red one. He gets confused. I, oh, sorry. I, and... When you said flubber, I thought it was like another word for some kind of sexual favor, like a little pregame. Oh, like Got a flubber? Got up, yeah. Oh. Give yeah. him a flubber. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, that sounds what, a little like fluffer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I see the yeah, connection. Yeah, yeah. You're familiar with the term fluffer? <laughs> fluffer, yeah. I, I was, yeah. yeah. What about uh, what about blowy? Yeah, I'm familiar with that, too. Okay, okay. it's time All to right. move on. Did little... you guys watch a, uh, a movie about a, the fluffer that was just too good? <laughs> So, <laughs> hey, when you get him warmed up, be, she was bad. actually. I finished. Oh, hey, you're too good. She was actually behind the scenes for so long. Didn't think she had what it took to be on camera. Maybe she's hideous, but is so skilled at what oh. she does. Oh, okay. that she's this is like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> kind of like Cinderella ish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, Dace. Cinderella ish. The, yeah, there the you lights go. were off. Okay, could we move on? Do we have Nobody anything else, else to support? Can fit. No, okay. I'm going to write that. The fluffer who was just too good. <sighs> There's a time traveler. <laughs> There's a time traveler back from the future to report what's going to happen in the rest of 2024. Is that right? I can hear you now. You're saying, at last. That's right. We now have these facts from oh. a time traveler. Okay. What's going to happen to the rest? Of, on May 27th. Right. A second civil war is going to break out in the United States, and Texas will secede from the rest of the country. This year? This year. Okay. Wow. The, these are all this year. And this time traveler is who? Yeah, yeah. Do we have a little have background a on this person? On this? I or? think he's he's on TikTok. I think his name's like uh, <laughs> Timmy Time Traveler or something. Okay. okay, but he does, he is a time traveler. These time. are absolutely, uh, right. he, ha he has traveled back uh, ahead in time is what he says, Tom. Uh, on June fur on June fourth, the first ever human chimp hybrid is made. <laughs> All right. It has fur and a tail and can speak to humans and monkeys. It begins teaching other monkeys to speak, and they eventually become full members of society. <laughs> okay. They, uh, you, you have to wonder if at someone at some point, some mad scientist tried to yes do some kind of a test tube. Well, oh. half chimp, half human. Uh, there's a, no doubt. Yeah. July 20th. Oh, do you think that would be ethical? At, no, absolutely not. No. no, of course not. Because you'd have to break a few humans to get to where you want to go there, dude. It's not like making an omelet. You think man. that'll be possible eventually? It may even be possible now, but hopefully whoever knows it right. is keeping it <laughs> shut down. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, we, I don't we, think live, nature, we live in a world where... I don't think nature would allow that. They do of. things that... It's not should we, but can we? Well, of course, yeah. Okay. All right. sure. Jurassic okay. Park. Uh, July 24th of this year, according to the time traveler, the Yellowstone volcano erupts. Well, that's bad news. This is actually something that absolutely could. Like the whole caldera happen. is going to. Uh, it covers almost the entire United States and Canada in three inch ash. That, uh, in case you don't know, there is a super volcano uh, underneath. And uh, we are Yellowstone. overdue. We is are it, way overdue. To resident alien? Oh, yeah, there is a uh, caldera aspect to this season, yes. And uh, my favorite prediction of the time traveler, on August 15th coming up this year, dragons are discovered in the Rocky Mountains. What? Wow. They can fly and breathe fire and talk. They can talk. <laughs> they can talk. <laughs> This is, uh, how could you look at this story and not be uh, say yes? 
That's compelling evidence. No one's ever seen them? No. Well, they're, they've been lying dormant. Some sort of, I bet, mining uh, excavation project is happening. Exactly. And actually release Some them. sort of uh, fracking, possibly, mm. would free them. My gosh. Deep under the Earth's crust. I, uh, I'm assuming that this this gentleman, who this time is now part of the White House administration, <laughs> so that I we can would, learn and find things out. Again, would, could you have him give me the Powerball numbers? <laughs> I so would nobody assume, won last night. I, I don't think they met... They, predict the, something as mundane as the Powerball. And you think all that money can save you from dragons and talking apes? And, and no, but I'm talking gonna, dragons. No, but I, what was the date on that uh, the volcano again? Uh, coming up in uh, in July, July 24th. That gives me just a couple of months to blow a billion dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to need that fluffer. Um, you mean flubber. Uh, okay, flubber. Sorry. Uh, well, nice. Uh, coming up, the headline... Puberty makes teens smell of cheese. What? That's really right. It does? A scientific study. Boy, there there is a certain odor that yeah, goes sure, along with puberty. Absolutely. Didn't this you is... have the ultimate story on this? Didn't they come back with a gym bag or something? Was it Willie? I think it might have been Willie. It, it smelled really... so badly? Or so bad? No, oh, I think everyone's had that if you've had teenage yeah. boys. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I wish I had the memo that uh, the school they went to issued a memo that they were not allowing anyone to wear Axe body spray again. So they just taken over the whole building. Is that uh, a real thing? Yeah. They put a memo out. That, oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Wow. There was a memo at the school. Um, uh, that's coming up along with uh, drinking habits of you and your mate. Um, if you have similar drinking habits, it may help uh, sustain... Your See, relationship. When you say mate, that sounds like a uh, human chimp hybrid. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't want to go through whatever spouse, significant other, blah oh, blah blah. You were blah, worried you about know. pronouns. Oh, and remember, Tom is open-minded. He re refers to that situation as blah 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 <laughs> blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> don't yes, Tom. Don't complicate it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, now, uh, uh, what else is happening? You want to give me a quick teaser? Uh, coming up, we're talking about the NIT coming up in uh, Hinkle Fieldhouse tonight between the Indiana State Sycamores and the Seton Hall Pirates. Arr! That's all uh, coming up. And uh, we've got a couple of planes stranded. The UConn men's and women's basketball team, they're having trouble getting to Phoenix. We'll see oh. if we can, we can help them out. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, right now, uh, the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by HelloFresh. It's time to make those meal times easier with delicious meals that you're going to love at a price you're going to love. HelloFresh does the grocery shopping, of course. They do the measuring. They box it up for you. And uh, right now, over 45 options to choose from each week. If you're looking to eat better, HelloFresh has over 30 calorie smart and protein smart options on the menu that uh, will help you out doing that. And it uh, saves you a lot of time going to the grocery store, pushed around that cart, trying to figure out why the cottage cheese and the sour cream look just the same and they're in the same. You know what I'm talking about. HelloFresh, each box packed with fresh ingredients. And uh, what are you working on over there, Jess Hooker? Um, with my daughter, I'm making sizzling shrimp bowls with spicy mayo, fresh, delicious ingredients, prepped and prepared in less than 30 minutes. And you can also get dessert for life, something from new from HelloFresh, and we have a new code to emphasize that. So satisfy your sweet tooth with a great decadent dessert in each box, and that dessert is on the house. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet. That's like Bob Tom Show How Sweet. HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet to see what I'm talking about. One free dessert per box with an active, active subscription, excuse me, an active subscription for life. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet. Also, coming up, we have uh, interesting news about monkeys. Uh, we were talking about apes. Now we got these crazy monkeys taking over a town and uh, not the ones with guitars. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning. I always heard that his herb was top shelf. <laughs> I just could not wait to find out for myself. <laughs> Don't knock it till you've tried it. Well, I've tried it, my friend. And I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. <laughs> I learned a hard lesson in a small Texas town. He 
fired up a fat boy and he passed him around. <laughs> the last words I spoke before they tucked me in. <laughs> I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. My party's all over before it began. <laughs> you can pour me some old whiskey river, my friend. But I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. <laughs> I hopped on his old bus, the honeysuckle road. The party was Vegas, it was after the show. Alone in the front lounge, just me and him. With one parting puff, Grim Creeper sat in. <laughs> I'll, I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. My party's all over. some old whiskey river my friend but i'll never smoke weed with willie again now we're passing the guitar telling good jokes i know one's a coming cause i'm smelling smoke <laughs> no i do not partake i just let it pass by a smile on my face and a great contact high. <laughs> I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. My party's all over before it began. You can pour me some old whiskey river, my friend. But I'll never smoke weed with Willie again. In the fetal position <laughs> with drool on my chin. <laughs> I messed up and smoked weed with Willie. <laughs> 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 Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Ha <laughs> 
Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. There's Josh and right. uh, Jess Hooker at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin, Ace Cosby. I'm here, and here's uh, Pat here's Tom. I, I, typically, we do the Today in History hack segment yeah. uh, toward the end of the show. I love that hack segment. Yeah, I know. I think maybe we should move it to the beginning of the show, don't you think? No. No, no. no, no. Then forgot. what would we do at the <laughs> end? We tried that before. Nobody cared. No, no. We, what? We, forgot. we did. Okay, well... um. Uh, yes, was it yesterday? Absolutely yeah, not. Yes, yes. Yesterday in history, we had... Time now for yesterday in history. We could do that. Okay, because we had some birthdays of significance yesterday. Oh, Is okay. that right? The late Doris Day, the late Marlon Brando. Boy, oh, boy. As fresh um, as today's headlines. But uh, 1942, the birth of Wayne Newton. Do you know who Wayne Newton is, Jess? Yeah. Kind of a, the last of the smarmy Vegas. Yeah. Don't right. yeah. It sounds like a girl singing. Don't Very Bad much so. dye job, yeah. The bad whoa, dye, yeah. bad hair. I dog. think he's, who died his yeah. uh, popularity began on, uh, I'm sure Tom will correct me if this is. I Love Lucy. Uh, I Love Lucy, where he was dressed up like a farmer. And uh, oh. she was quite taken with him because he sang like a girl. Oh. Actually, very well, but he, he Very Vegas. Yeah. Well, now, show busy. Um, uh, and uh, Pat, you said you had a tribute? We forgot to do our tribute. Yeah, let's do it right now. Here we go. Wayne Newton, what a guy. <laughs> well, I <laughs> came off insincere. I don't know why. Yeah, what, a, the what guy. a guy. I I know. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm starting now. You know what? Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Newton can kiss my ass. How about that? Why yeah. 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 Well, he, or punch in the face. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, he threatened to punch uh, Johnny Carson. Remember that? Yeah. That's in the book, yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, I heard. Go ahead, Pat, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> That is really lovely. Um, Hush <clears throat> tones. It's so yeah. beautiful. It's yeah, he's still out there working. Yeah. How yeah. old is he? Do we Doing uh, festivals? Uh, well, born in what was it? What did I just say? Forty-two. Forty-two. So Nine, he'd 90, be uh, 80? eighty-two, right? Eighty-two. No? Wait a minute. Close. Yeah. Um. Uh. But uh, he's famous for the song Dunka Shane. That's Dunka Shane. Yeah. Uh, Not Dunka Shane. What does that mean? Don't you walk so fast, Daddy? Don't you walk, walk so fast? <laughs> Oh, mama cry. Donka Shane is great. That's a great song. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. He's had, a lot, he's had a lot of work done on his face. Yeah. Um, a lot of tightening. Yeah. A lot of moving. Yeah. Of and it's, I think he still has the jet black Vegas dye jobs. More yes. plastic than a Dasani factory. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dennis Miller. Uh, let's uh, return to the sports page. Uh, well, uh, possibly the uh, biggest sports story of the week, but uh, Tom was irritated by it yesterday, so I'm going to try to do it again today, and we'll see where, uh, where it happens here. <laughs> Uh, on Tuesday of this week, a referendum presented to the voters of Jackson County, Missouri to extend a three-eighths percent sales tax to help fund a proposed new downtown stadium for the Royals and renovations to Arrowhead for the World Champ Chiefs failed 58 percent to 42 percent. The future locations of both franchises is now in doubt. The Royals probably could move anywhere and... Of course, the Chiefs are our world champs. They really can't move anywhere. Sure they could. Or can they? Or can they? According to the Kansas City Star, an, a, an effort has started to get the Chiefs to build a new stadium in Kansas. Get out of Missouri. Go to Kansas. Right. Because it's right there. It is right there. There's Kansas City, Kansas. And Kansas City, Missouri, Tom. You see how it works? What? 
There is. That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Former Kansas House Speaker Ron <laughs> Rickman is quietly working with unnamed parties who are interested in getting the Chiefs to make a short move across the state line. We'll see what happens. He says Jackson County fumbled. Oh. Um, and now there'll be a mad scramble for the ball. And Dallas has reached out, the original home of the Kansas City Chiefs, when they were when they won the AFL championship back in the early 60s. They have said made it known that the Chiefs can absolutely come home to Dallas if they'd like oh. when they were the Dallas Texans. But, oh. of course, we already have the Houston, Houston Texans. Texans. But we'll see what happens. All right. There you go. And that's sports. Okay. Oh, it's, I was yes, that's it. it. Okay, thank Push you very much. Hey, Rocky, this is what you find in full. Where you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Jess? New research indicates that couples with similar drinking habits may live longer. Scientists at the University of Michigan studied nearly 5,000 married couples. They found that couples who said they both drank alcohol in the last three months live longer than couples that either both indicated not drinking or one partner drank and the other did not. Really? Yeah. They added that light drinking predicted better survival rates among individuals and their partners. The study was published by the Journal of Gerontologist. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, they don't they say that a little bit of alcohol is good for the cardiovascular system? But, but yeah. the the, the, the point of the story is that if if you're a you know, heavy dipso, you know, really, uh, as, as long as you're getting that lubricant, I mean, as long as your partner is, you're okay. Heavy dipso. You ever see Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Yeah. Well, sure, yeah. The, days of wine and roses. A couple of drinks together stays together. Yeah, they, well, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't, just, um... <laughs> their kids did Isn't Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton in here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 George Siegel. One of their great performances. Yeah. I've that. never, I, I didn't watch it. I read yeah. it, didn't watch it. I love it. It's pretty I know powerful. others in this room it, don't. It's yeah. powerful stuff. Yeah. 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 A lot of yelling. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's you no, don't necessarily want to spend time with that. It's, it's no awesome. holdovers, but uh, it's an okay movie. Well, I, but, uh, <laughs> um, the uh, so the point of the story is if if you're like if one drinks and the other doesn't, maybe they're not going to last as long. Yeah, probably the stress of having a drinker in the house and a non-drinker isn't easy. Yeah, right, right, right. You sober on a bunch of drunks, you maybe want to move on. Maybe. But that also said that two non-drinkers living together don't live as long as two drinkers. No. But so they make sure to say light drinking. Light drinking. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what they told Tom, but they told me when I had my uh, open heart now 27 years ago, they said I should have an ounce of alcohol a day. Yeah, there you go. To keep things uh, lubricated. And, if, and, and you misinterpreted and <laughs> thought they said per hour, and uh, hence the issues. Possibly. <laughs> hey, I went in a program. Okay. okay. Okay, good. I'm all fine. So they're not suggesting you drink a fifth a day and as a couple. Right. Okay. Right. But you can. Well, sure, you can, uh, briefly. Couples that fist fight together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> you got You really got to drink a lot. Man, you, gotta, you, you really have to relax, dear. If you're doing, <laughs> you want to be lubricated for that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you're doing you, that, you're going to stay together all yeah, right. Hey, would, wow. you, would you mind taking off the fake Super Bowl ring? <laughs> who li- you, who left, li- you left it in there last week. So the... The fister wouldn't get anything out of that, right? The fist E would. Oh no, I think it goes both ways. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I'm powerful. <laughs> this is. Uh, I, I'm in control. Here. Do you think the uh, fister has ever uh, crossed the line and said, "Now you"? Uh, yes, I think they go back and forth. You know, sure. back and forth. Sure. What do you think of that, Tom? Uh, I'd rather not know. Me, 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 me first. <laughs> okay. Now you, you, you. Do we have anything else in the news? Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> Oh. A new study reveals that teenagers <laughs> smell worse than babies. Oh, yeah. Well, well babies ba- smell great. Babies have they that do. smell. Yeah. 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 Scientists in Germany isolated chemical compounds that make up pubescent body odor and discovered that teenagers have two particularly stinky chemical compounds. Huh. One that smells of sweat, urine, musk, and sandalwood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yum. Yeah. And another that gives off smells including cheese, goat, and wax. Goat? Goat. And soup. Soup? soup? Does your kid smell like soup? He smells like chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, better they that do. than sweat urine, musk, and sandalwood. You know, I don't know what age it is, but there is a yeah. a very definite, like, I'm going to 11. And then after, as soon as that has, like, oh, there's a smell down. It's wild. Yeah. I wonder what that, in evolution, what the point of that is. I, don't, I, I would, think it's just chemicals and, yeah, yeah, going on in your body. Infants, on the other hand, had higher levels of a compound called ketone, which smells flowery and soapy with a hint of violet. I love that soapy uh, mm-hmm. baby smell. I know. <laughs> Put your nose right on your head. Yep. <laughs> Let me sniff that soft spot. That's what I say. <laughs> or as Tom would say, how you doing, baby, baby sweetie? Did the big sweetie? I don't know if you're a puppy dog or a baby. That's not how I would talk to a baby. I would hold up the baby, and then I would say, this is the greatest day of your life. I know so you're loving this. exactly the way he talks to his dog. When I taught, I taught from kindergarten to high school uh, throughout the day. So from noon to nine, it would mm-hmm. they, they would get older. And I remember and walking into, like, the <laughs> sixth and seventh graders, oh. the, the older, you were like, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, these are the older kids. Yeah. <laughs> no I was, kidding. I, I, yeah. I was a yeah. teaching major my first year and had to go and do some student teaching for a class and it was after recess and those kids came in and i said i can't i'm not doing this yeah and i changed a, my major it's a different it's a thing yeah it's crazy yeah wow well also now science backs it up yeah. hence the need for axe body spray yeah teens well that's almost worse i i, know. I yeah. shudder at how much um cologne and aftershave i used to wear oh really i plainly remember slapping uh Brute on. Well, that like was a, there was uh, no tomorrow. That, it, that's because Madison Avenue told you that you smelled bad. Is that right? And the same way with women when they said you need to douche, you don't. No well, self cleaning oven, ladies. Don't they, put anything in there. That that was a uh, that was created by you know commercials essentially. Big what about soap. what about FDS? Uh, no, probably important for some. Mm. <laughs> or is, is it really never good for anybody? I don't think so. Okay. Be, yeah. No, that kind of aerosol in that area, you don't you don't need to do all that. Shh. No, a no pest strip. <laughs> uh, if you're a fly catcher. If, you know, a real oh. real rough broad. <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna, uh, various uh, legal entanglements. Uh, there could have been a bug out her ass, I can tell you. That. But uh, no, I, 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 you know, ladies, you're okay. You're just being, uh, you know, Madison Avenue. The same way they told you, chick, you have to wear, you know, cologne and splash on and all that other stuff. Did you wear? I don't, I don't no. see you ever wearing cologne. You're correct. Really? Just soap? How about deodorant? Wear deodorant? Oh yeah, yeah. But but it was, but also because of commercials, it was in those days. It was Right Guard. Mm. <laughs> And I, I would spray it endlessly. Really? Shh. No kidding? I don't think that's wrong now. Now they have full body deodorant. They say you can spray oh, it wherever yeah. you want. Yeah, that's right. Yep, any any spot. Oh, yeah. Don't you have literally something called ball spritz or something? Fresh balls. Fresh balls. Okay, Fresh balls. Close. It goes on as a lotion. It dries as a powder. <laughs> huh. It's... It's, it's, you're, you're even quoting the commercial. Should be, <laughs> it should be for everyone. Well, they also have for ladies... Fresh to uh, yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. No. What a bridesmaids might need Are that. you kidding me? <laughs> no. It's called fresh tea word. Yeah. There's a lot of women that have to powder in the fold sure. of their breast. Yeah. Look at that boob sweat. Big old ta You always see it with some bridesmaids. Big old <laughs> did ever, did, did you ever um, see like a carpenter put the pencil behind their ear? Oh, yeah. Do women ever do that with their boob? Uh, I know that there's Lift some women put something down there to, that, there that put their put wallet or their ID or their money in their money. breast, yeah. the fold. Yeah, because there's some places that say they have signs that say we mm. will not take boob money. Oh, I've I've seen yeah. that. I've yeah. seen that sign. Yeah. Once you've taken sweaty boob money, you don't ever <laughs> want to do it again. Isn't that a Van Morrison song? <laughs> boob money, boob boob money, yeah. boob money. Well, this is why uh, women are douching because they're forced to by Madison Avenue, as demonstrated by Renee Hicks. Comedian Renee Hicks has joined us in the studio. Morning, Renee. Uh, Good morning. Quite the sportswoman, I can. Oh yes, from yes, yes. And we were talking about the WNBA. I just want to know, like, will there be like feminine hygiene commercials, like sponsoring it? Because I think those things got to go. They're just too damn nasty. I mean, they got to stop. They got to stop talking about women's genitalia. I mean, I mean, and these women talking about douche. We don't do that, men. We don't go to the beach talking about douche. <laughs> you don't? You know? No, we don't. And see, I, I never want to see a black woman do that. Mm-hmm. Because you know they would have her just acting crazy, just walking along going, Oh, girl, I ain't seen you in a... 
Damn, Shaniqua. Is that you stinking like that, girl? Well, you need to douche your nasty ass. There's a whole family of seagulls following your nasty ass. Damn. Thank you. You can see what I mean about I uh, the commercials that are demanding you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'll back to you. <laughs> a school principal in North Carolina saved the day after fending off an aggressive wild turkey with an umbrella. <laughs> Wait. At the, the school? Princi- the principal had the umbrella. The turkey did not. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Students and staff at Alston Ridge Schools are regularly terrorized by male turkeys during breeding season. Terrorized? Oh, yeah. What? Have you, no, they, have you seen? They're aggressive. Yeah. Uh, Wait a minute. Are there, is, is the school like, next yeah, to Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Is the school next to a turkey farm? How no, no, they're wild, they're wild turkeys. Yeah. Mr. Nico Shoot, the elementary school principal, recently okay, stepped now, in. Stop for one second. What? Doesn't Nico Shoot sound like a porno name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think and it, it could would be, a, be... It could be a woman, too. I think it should be a woman, actually. Like Tina Shoot or something. <laughs> oh, so you're going like shoots and ladders as opposed right. to firing yeah. something. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephanie Shoot. <laughs> Have you seen her? You know, poopina shoot. <laughs> she has a particular, <laughs> a particular set of <laughs> special. <Pina. laughs> you know what I was the doing? It really yawn. wasn't, really wasn't driving it home. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Tom. I'm sorry. This is uh, this very selfless elementary school principal. <laughs> have you seen the video? Fought the turkey using an open umbrella. Uh, successfully drove the turkey away from the kids. Mm. This was attacking these little kids. It's a, mm. it's funny. To, I mean, this is why. Oh, uh, what's her, uh, this is why, what's her name? Mary Poppins was always packing. They, oh, yeah. She know. could always shoo away a flock yeah. of pigeons or whatever she needed to do. Yeah, but she could fly with her umbrella. Yeah, yeah. that's even... Uh, that was badass. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else jump off the roof of their garage with an umbrella to see if it would work? No, oh. no. Just, just me? Okay, good. We weren't as... Did you, honestly? Oh, we had... I love that <laughs> the cartoon <laughs> thing. We weren't as, as they say, light of brain. Official <laughs> 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 week, week of intellectual processing. <laughs> yes, I, I didn't process that with the... <laughs> Yeah, o- uh, officials hope the turkey dubbed Mr. Tom will soon go no. back into the woods and the fields where he belongs. It is funny. It's just this one turkey that's bullying these poor yeah. kids. All right, kids, stand back. I would use this umbrella, but... Uh, okay, oh. turkey problem <laughs> solved. Thanks a lot, kids. I love <laughs> I want you to write a paper about what you just saw. <laughs> and by the way, tomorrow for lunch, Tetrazzini. Yeah. <laughs> turkey Tetrazzini. And uh, speaking of turkey, uh, uh, my secretary, uh, oh. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Diplick, uh, oh. likes to have a little bit of the old uh, wild turkey. No, she knows how to gobble, I can yeah. tell you that. <laughs> she will be repairing to the teacher's lounge. Oh, okay. Remember the days in the teacher's lounge, you'd open up the door and the smoke would just waft oh, yeah. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those days are gone. Um, the, the, if you see this thing, it's so funny. It's like uh, the turkey versus the penguin. Remember the penguin from the Batman? <laughs> He's always, always Oh, he used the, an umbrella. Always yeah. had the umbrella. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's coming up in the news? Uh, the Grim Reaper is visiting. Wow, that's, oh. that seems like that should be the last story we he, ever do. He right? was invited, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's it, it's pretty grim. Yeah. Well, well the Grim Reaper. Reaper. Oh, I Reaper. So. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, good news, I'm a big fan, as you know, of uh, the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you yes, are. Yes, we have a, um, a, a a story somewhat related to the Wiener Mobile mm-hmm. coming, up, coming up in the news. In fact, if you're a young... A man or woman looking for a gig, you might have. Uh, you might want to stick around. Is all I'm saying. If if you uh, if you, it could be a, a huge adventure for you is on the way. Also, when you clean your garage, if you find any grenades, you'll want to. You'll want to hear this story coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Morgan Freeman reading Little Miss Muffet sat <laughs> on the <laughs> eating her curd and whey. <laughs> Along came a spider. <laughs> it's too good. It's down perfect, man. 
<laughs> I would, can you do Liam Neeson doing one? Three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> See how they run. <laughs> what are they running from? <laughs> I am dying. <dieting. laughs> A man who's kidnapped my daughter. <laughs> right. Do you have any special skills? I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't know what these mice want. <laughs> but if they're looking for some cheese, I'll tell you this. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, on. This. I'm loving this. Got Pacino and uh, Hickory Dickory. Skills. Hickory Dickory die. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> the clock struck three and all went wee. <laughs> that can't, that's wrong. <laughs> Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> what were the three men in a tub doing? A butcher, a, -dub -dub, a baker, in a and a candlestick maker. <laughs> I know who you three are. <laughs> I know what the three of you do. But I'm going to tell you this. This bathtub doesn't have a lot of time. <laughs> Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, oh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom Show USA. <laughs> Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Larry King. Wow. Larry, Larry. <laughs> nice to see you. Let me sit down here. Oh, Ouch, oh. my back. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're giving off a weird vibe when the Walmart greeter tells you to pound sand up your butt. <laughs> Hey, what's with Cher and the sunny thing all of a sudden? Would somebody tell you, tell me, anything? Uh, anybody else now think the C word was invented because of her? <laughs> Cher, of course. Of course, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And how about that Carol Channing thing, huh? Yeah. I guess she was singing Hello, Dildo. <laughs> Hello, Dildo. Yeah, Hello, man. Hello. <laughs> just just only good got stuff. married. Only got it twice in her twice in forty one years of marriage. Of marriage. Wow. wow, she needs Viagra. And I said it before, but never, never address an Indian in war paint as Chief Big Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do don't it. Do and it. finally, I gotta say, I gotta say, kids, <laughs> uh -huh. it's been a stone gas being here, by the way. Uh -huh. I gotta say, this body piercing craze is getting out of control. You know, studs through the tongue, sure. rings through the nose, right. eyebrows, the nipples, the belly button, and now a series of interlocking rings and hoops through my schwantz. <laughs> oh, did I say my schwantz? <laughs> oh, somebody stop me. You know how <laughs> you know how embarrassing it is to go through the metal detector? <laughs> I'm sure. Larry King, you've got a solid nickels worth, kids. Thanks. I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, Larry. I got to catch a plane. Oh, thanks very Bye -bye. much, Larry. <laughs> Hi, this is Pat Godwin from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? You don't want to do that. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Turtles and whores, turtles and whores, I love them turtles and whores. They both advertise a little tail, move so much you never get mail. They both go by the same nickname, Snapper. Snapper. Daddy never told about the birds and bees, but always talked about both these and made it clear only one was fit to eat. 
<laughs> turtles and hoes. Yeah. Turtles and hoes. I love them turtles and hoes. Turtles and hoes. <laughs> now, if you catch one, here's some advice. One is dirty and the other ain't nice. If they polite and always walk up from behind. <laughs> Make small talk, never let them see fear. Don't work alone, just bait or bed. When you're done, just drop them by the river. <laughs> turtles and horse. Turtles and horse. I've caught both while fishing. I'm always on a mission. And they both hate the kitchen. Turtles and horse. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. But I can't stand the endorsements that come after that because everybody's going to have their own shoe and selling shoes and telling these kids to buy shoes. Because, honestly, I don't care what kind of shoe an athlete wears, mm. and neither should you. My question is, what kind of shoe does a black surgeon or lawyer wear? Yeah. <laughs> what is Johnny Cochran wearing? That should be the commercial. Mm. <laughs> when you can get a brother off a double homicide the whole world knows he's guilty of, uh -huh. that's a bad shoe. <laughs> My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmunds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More uh, ah, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. As we become mobile and we'll be broadcasting tomorrow morning from our affiliate in Charleston, West Virginia. Very excited. Yeah, uh, got a little, a couple of little tricks up our sleeve. Beautiful oh, Kanawha County. We will have a, a Duke Tomato, and uh, it'll be uh, the Brass to Mouth Horns joining us. Get a song out of Duke and Patty G. You guys working up something, I hope? Yeah, we'll do something. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and Can uh, I have a, uh, will I get a solo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, please bring that so I can. Oh, the people will demand oh, it. Gonna, yeah. Love uh. that. Never had one lesson. <laughs> no? I don't think you can take that on the plane. Oh. How do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're against fun and comedy. Huh? They are. Yeah. Maybe you can, maybe you can uh, prison pocket it. <laughs> What's it called? The prison purse? Mm. You're fascinated by that, aren't you? <laughs> well, that'd, that, that'd fit. It's got a nice tapered end. I Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't no, they, you don't want to mess with that. That's, yeah. It's too long. It's got a hook. You can pull it out. That's true. <laughs> mm. Plus, if you fart, it'll sound like a Popeye theme. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know something? Just, uh, I, I know I have a lot of unreasonable oh, opinions. I'm... I, I always hated Popeye. Oh, hated Popeye. Oh. Ne never liked it. I'm Popeye the watching, Sailor Man. Yeah, watching <laughs> yeah. cartoons. That was so dumb. That you crazy like cat. No, I did. I, yeah. Crazy cat. That was the worst. You thing. know, the best part of Popeye was when he start mumbling when he was fighting. Uh, he was yeah. yeah, that was, I liked that. Uh, did you know? I did, yes. Yeah, like I was almost right. cursing. I'd rather almost watch any other cartoon. As a kid. I remember as a kid watching the Altman Popeye movie and going, I don't know That's how to feel Thanks. I was. It was a weird. It was grimy looking. It's amazing. And, oh, the Robin Williams one? Yeah, the yeah. Songs yeah. Just an weird. amazing Shelley movie. Long, yeah. It's She's, awful. Uh, Shelley Duvall. Duvall, yeah, yeah. my bad, yeah. Uh, now, um, well, we, we need to move forward here. We've already learned that uh, puberty makes teenagers smell uh -oh. of cheese and goat. Thank you. <laughs> That's uh, true. Mm, uh, uh, but, Planners is looking for new peanutters to travel across the country in their nutmobile. Oh, really? Now, wouldn't this be a great job? The brand said it is in search of three team three team members to chauffeur Mr. Peanut across America in a one-of-a-kind 26-foot-long peanut-shaped vehicle. I've heard he's impossible. Just abusive. <laughs> and oh, Mr. Peanut? Yeah, he's yeah, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my monocle? Where's my... I, was right, I laid it right here on my nightstand. David, I'm looking at you. You stole it. <laughs> the peanutter position is a full-time paid one-year job opportunity from June 2024 to June 2025. Perhaps you don't know who I am. I'm the... Peanut! <laughs> I'm not Peanut. I'm Mr. Peanut. No. Um, I require a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> There's a photograph of the previous team. Yeah. Handle my nuts. They, they, they look like they walked off of, um, 
you know, the Up With People or whatever, one of those really wholesome. Oh, sure. What a fun gig that would be. Yeah, applications are being accepted through April 14th at beapeanutter.com. Be a peanut. It's tough. I mean, you're, it's a lot of travel, but it's on somebody else's dime, so that's cool. That you get to see the, see the country, but you're doing a lot of events and uh, meeting a lot of people. you got to be have a friendly disposition. Yes. Yeah. You have to wonder if anybody's ever... Uh, Check you know. your out. Okay. In uh, the this peanuts are rocking, absolutely. <laughs> this, this, this nuts uh, got the. Uh, hey, you know we could go back into the uh, nut mobile if you'd like. I talk yeah. about getting my nut off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know I once uh, <laughs> I once uh, rammed the wiener mobile with this. What, <laughs> what is that foul language I hear coming from up there? You miscreants! <laughs> I am Mr. Peanut. He's always declaring he's Mr. Peanut. I'm Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Reminding everybody, Mr. Peanut was also my father. <laughs> <laughs> Does Mr. Bean, he has the monocle? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Kane, I believe. Uh-huh. Why, don't they give him a, why don't they give him a first name? Maybe he has one and we're just unaware of it. It's yeah. Phil. Phil, Phil Pe- Peanut. Phil yeah. Peanut. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Is that short for Philbert? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fun job. Philbert Peanut. Is that, so if, if if he kept the head on while he was right. doing it, mm-hmm. would that be like a furry situation? Is that, it's, mm. I mean, or is that just cosplay? I don't think it, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't, more I don't, cosplay, cosplay maybe, yeah. just because he is a known... Yeah. I think the furries are pretty, uh, they, an animal connection. Yeah. yeah, they have standards. Yeah. They do? Um... Yeah, Mr. Peanut has the monocle and the top hat. Well, yeah. One of the... Uh, no cane? Um, oh, he's and, a sophisticated. Yes, in one picture he has a cane. Mm. Top hats, uh, I'm currently watching this, what's that show called? about Manhunter? Yes. About the assassination of Lincoln and it's the man search. Hunt, but go ahead. Whatever. I'm t- <laughs> things to do besides memorize television. Is a manhunt what, what you would call when you would tuck behind your legs? And, oh, know. that was manhunt, you said. I don't know hunt, why he's hunt. in such a pissy mood. but he's a pissy is. mood. I just don't need to be yeah. corrected about something that minor. <laughs> the point is, uh, Chick, I'll, you, you were, you're watching the same show? No, nope, not anymore. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> good answer. Good for you. Go right straight to hell. Hey, top hats? With the yeah. top hat, yeah. Yeah, but they're wearing them a lot. You, you, you see the fake... the. the the famous Johnny Carson Lincoln thing where he pulls it up and it's right. Funny. That's hilarious. But yeah. um, the lead actor in the show is just fantastic. And he, he but he he pulls off wearing the top hat. Mm. It's Tobias Menzies. I don't he's amazing. He, he's, it's ridiculous. He's so good. He's no me, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> they should have gotten Mr. Peanut. But, but Mr. Peanut could walk in there and he'd be at least appropriately dressed. Oh, that's yeah. right. He would. Yeah. He'd have Ready the, for uh, anything. Have the top hat. <laughs> who right wears in. the top hat now outside of uh, Groundhog's Day? Who wears? Uh, Slash. Slash. Okay. Okay. From uh, Guns from Guns N' Roses. I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. No. Ace, wasn't there one other one you, you were mentioning? I forget. Does uh, Dr. Demento wear one every now and again? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think that's pretty much his stationery is mm. him in a top hat. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, kind of an Not odd... easy, because he's on the radio. Yeah, but... How did you wear his headphones? <laughs> oh, he'd oh, come up behind. Yeah, sure, to, sure. Yeah. I could fix you. You like want the ones that come up from the bottom? I can... No, I'm just being silly, of course. Um, the top hat is an odd choice. It I, is. I wonder why they... Um, what what do they call hat makers? It's not hat... It's some... Milliners. Milliners. Milliners, yeah. I wonder why they came up with that. Was it to make men look taller? Probably. It's a distinct. You're immediately yeah. you go. Oh my gosh! There's. A I mean, back in the day, in 1865, they're all wearing these top hats. Yeah. I mean, and I've always been suspect. The, the thing with the Pope, where he wears the big mitre. Yeah. I always thought that was probably there was some really short Pope, you know, in 1507 or whatever, and he goes, "Well, I got to distinguish myself from the rest of these losers. <laughs> Give me, make me a giant hat. My theory. And no one else can have one. I always assumed the top hat had so much space because you wanted to wear a hat to look gentlemanly, but when you took it off. It wasn't so on your head that it crushed your hair down and messed oh. up your hair. You could still have a decent hairstyle huh. while wearing a top hat. That makes sense. I thought they, I don't know that that is true, but that's, that's probably what, it. I, they needed the extra because it was so hot. They could keep your head cool. Mm. Oh. oh, with the shade. And yeah. it I see. That's the brim, not the hat. Well, no, no, but the space in between There's the hat, space yeah. in between the, the top to of your head. All your heat yeah. leaves your body through your head, yeah. yeah. And the top of the hat. Uh, Tom uh, could uh, wear a top hat, right? Tom could yes. absolutely yeah. wear a top hat. A chick, don't sell yourself short, man. Uh, I don't know. No, he's a, you're different, like a derby, maybe. I'm a, yes, a, tr- a trilby. No, if I if I were in a production of A Christmas Carol, yes. and we needed one of the guys who uh, goes to Scrooge in the beginning, would you like to donate oh, to the, me. Uh, you and chick? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. 
You could uh, have your uh, sideburns, Tom. Uh-huh. Yes. I'd, I'd shave my beard into a side, just because we... Oh, that's a nice. Mm. Of course, uh, Scrooge would be played by Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scrooge. Get back to work. Can I be Tiny Tim? You might be. You may be Tiny Tim, yeah. That, um, would, be, um, that would be a nice... Uh, 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 for diversity's sake, uh, it'd be kind of hard to justify, but surprisingly, in the role of Tiny Tim as a very large African-American gent... Well, he'd be like <laughs> Tiny Zeus Lister. <laughs> <laughs> That was another large African American tiny. Tom will get that. <laughs> if he saw him, he'd know. Oh, in the role of Tiny Tim, it's Rafer Johnson. Remember, remember Rafer Johnson? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, uh, so much for the uh, headgear of Mr. Peanut. But if you want to be driving the Mr. Peanut Nutmobile, <laughs> once again, it's uh, BAPNutter.com to get that application in before April 14th. That's a I'm, great gig for a young person. That would be fun. I'm surprised you're telling people about this gig because I am um, I would have bet you would take this job or follow Mr. Peanut around for the summer. That, it's know, got no, you I, written I, I, all if, over if, if I were... You know, 19 or 20 years old, yeah. mm -hmm. I think it'd be a great job for a year. I can't 21, I'd say, because there's a lot of drinking among all those <laughs> yeah. folks. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I was one of them. <laughs> and all the peanuts. you got to have beer with peanuts. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Can you make uh, you can make uh, THC peanut butter, right? You can put, uh, you put, can put, it put in THC anything. in anything. Yeah, there we go. I can't uh, find the salary. You can't find the salary? Oh, I love peanut butter on salary. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> that is delicious. Yeah. Cream okay, cheese okay. on salary. I, 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 in 10 seconds, I want a quick answer. If this gig, uh, Wiener Mobile or a Peanut Mobile? Peanut. Really? Yeah, I'd go Peanut. Okay, Josh. I'm going uh, Wiener. Wiener Mobile. Yeah, I think I'm going Wiener. Yeah, yeah. Ace. Wiener. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know something? I'm going Wiener too. I don't know what it is. Okay. All right, just uh, nuts for me then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of nuts. For I'll you. take the Wiener. You <laughs> handle the nuts. <laughs> I wonder if there's All like right. a no a no peanut allergy clause. <laughs> Yes, so. <laughs> they have to ask it's that. Full of yeah, they have to. <laughs> they have to ask that yeah. during the job interview. Now, do yeah. you have a peanut allergy? And those who take it seriously, they're out of there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, coming up, we have um, monkeys in the news, salmon in the news. Um, did you return that book? Well, you might get arrested if you didn't. That's in the news. And this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1. Or He's Bob, I'm Bob, and he's Tom, and I'm Tom. <laughs> to conquer and win, we're gonna be in this Super Bowl, yeah. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Q95 with Luciano Gaspacho in praise of the Indianapolis Colts. In a great praise. Phenomenal. A big Super Bowl win this next and, year. Uh, we hope that you get to sing the national anthem at the Indy 500 next year, Luciano. Big a star like me, how are they going to refuse? Bob, a lot of celebrities were in town for mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500, which of course took place yesterday, including a guy from the National Association of Broadcasters who has honored us by stopping by our show this morning. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Ralph Bonarama. Hey, guys. I just want to let you know that uh, I really respect what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a shame that more kids can't go watch your show. I oh, it's on radio. Well, never mind, man. You may wonder about the uh, Hoosier Dome, they call it. Now, when the Colts moved here, they were considering changing their names to the Trojans. Then we were going to rename this place the Condome. This guy walks into a psychiatrist. Yeah. He says, I, I feel like I'm a dog. Really? Yeah. You know, the psychiatrist says, how long have you felt this way? He says, ever since I was a puppy. <laughs> Go by. All right, it's it's a helium money, so we should do this properly. Okay, you ready to sing along with it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Here we go. It's helium money. That's right. The high point of your week's arrive. Oh, yeah. It's helium money with Bob and Tom. That's us, Bob and Tom. And uh, by golly. Is it by, by God, you can listen to In My Not. <laughs> you can. To K-I-Z-Z-F-M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one hell of a radio Stop station. Stop it! Stop it! We'll be coming right back. <laughs> it's new.
wax off. <laughs> Remove old wax and give your car a high gloss shine with wax off. Just jerk off the top and spray a smidgen on your vehicle and apply it with vigorous up and down motions. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Ruth, he kept undressing me with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm -hmm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Yeah. <laughs> put a little extra menthol there on your cigarette. It's like, oh, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Haji, put that shaving foam down. Haji, would you like to give your street address? Maybe that'll help, help some people contact you after seeing this tape. Yeah, Dick. But uh, the fact that people that will be contacting you are medical experimenters, okay? Dick. I wonder if they replace his heart with a gallstone, if his body will still work. Jealous. This portion of our show is uh, brought to you by Walenda Brothers Coffee. Good to the last drop. <laughs> new law firm in the news today. Really? Yeah, three famous uh, attorneys have formed a new law firm. Oh, really? Who are yeah, they? Uh, Gary Hart, Ted Kennedy, and uh, Richard Nixon. What's it called? It's called Dick'em, Dunk'em, and Cheat'em. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't make fun of Gary Hart anymore. Why? The guy, I mean, he was he was six inches away of becoming president, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Jimmy. Get on your knees and pray, and when you get a... Woody! <laughs> what are we talking about Woody Hayes? Of course. <laughs> So why do they have one of the main thoroughfares for people and that say, why don't they build a little uh, a tunnel, tunnel or a bridge? Hey, or what a great idea. Guy from, you, guy from USAC goes, <laughs> golly, Earl, that might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> Hi, this is Pat Godwin from the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com, check out the list for a station near you, or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Then you need to order Magic Johnson Sportscasting my way. You'll learn to butcher grammar like it's a dead cow. Sometimes Charles do things and and he does them for himself. See, what the fans should understand here is that Phoenix don't like to really set up half-court. Magic's insights will teach you how to lose your train of thought in the middle of a sentence. You know, he's amazing. Every time he does something crazy or, 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 or something... Nobody can abruptly switch to a completely different thought, like the Magic Man. He's one of the best. If he get his feet set, hey, look out. He, and, and then, also, he's having a good game. He had a good first game. <laughs> Contradictory thoughts in the same sentence? Like Magic. Kevin stumbled because his leg gave out on him, in a sense. And uh, so it's not 100% that leg, but uh, he's doing, you know, he's playing really well. He, he's not like he's favoring it at all. Magic. <laughs> the mangler. Dan Marley is continually, continually to help off of Byron Scott. To get Magic Johnson sportscasting my way, call 1-800. Oh, get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is Jim Gaffigan. So, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail, very... Um, Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved to Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and uh, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is Tom! <laughs> when grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Jess Hooker. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. He's in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. Hey, there's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. 
Uh, hi. Um, why were we talking about salmon yesterday? I don't remember. We were? Yeah. Um, I, I, I certainly enjoy eating salmon. And um, yeah, yeah, we had some oddball salmon thing. Who uh, came up with the oh, plank somebody, thing? What was it? Somebody sued her or something. Some, some clothing. Some clothier. They have clothes made of salmon. No, you oh, were wearing really? a salmon shirt. I was wearing a salmon oh, shirt on Monday. Was. Yeah, ah, there okay. it is. Salmon well color. <laughs> wow, we'll but we, get there. we have we have salmon in the news today. We do. In an interesting kind of way. An overturned truck spilled over a hundred thousand live fish onto a road in Oregon. Live. Live. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife said one of its tankers was involved in an accident, resulting in the escape of thousands of live salmon that were being moved as part of a program to replenish stocks depleted by dams. All right, boys, here we go now. Yeah, that's the way it's going to go. <laughs> this truck's going to spill over, and then we're going to, they'll it'll dump us right into the water. That's the way. Oh, no! It's too early! Well, that's actually what actually, happened. Actually, according to the New York Times, the crash occurred near Looking Glass Creek, and while a portion of the fish fell into its banks, most were swept up into the water. Oh, they were? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The young Looking salmon glass. lucky enough to drop into the creek are expected <laughs> to uh, preserve in their migration from the Grand Ronde River to the ocean. Okay. So it's got a happy ending. I was, I'm was. i wondering why it wasn't uh, called the Brandy Lake or something with Looking Glass involved. Oh, oh. Sure. Brandy, you're oh, okay. a fine mm. girl. Looking Glass is a cool area. I've been through there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I bet they have not had a, a, an accident with fish on this <laughs> on this scale. Uh, yeah. The scale. Oh. Yes. <laughs> there you go. That's Do they, nice. Uh, now the, like the bears will be really excited up there. They will there. be. Ooh, DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, these are really little ones. Honey. Did you order DoorDash? <laughs> if so, good job, babe. You know why the uh, truck crashed? Why? No. Uh, was carrying all those salmon, and ironically, it's uh, brakes locked up. God. Locked up. Yes. Man, you almost made me cuss on the air. <laughs> <laughs> he really, I he really that. did. Wow. Little lox bagels uh, and cream cheese. I forgot everything oh. I was going to say. My favorite. What? Lox and bagels? Lox and bagels. Oh, that is good. Mm. Oh, uh, Pat, I understand you have a salmon song. I have an update. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Got salmon in the back. <laughs> Driving down the road. <laughs> oh, here we go. A bunch of Chinook smolts. <laughs> what a smelly load. Took a corner too fast. Fish flew out quick. My luck. They landed in a creek. That's right. Oregon Highway. <laughs> I got lucky this time. Yeah. Minor injuries and covered in salmon slime. Oh, you're going to smell me and go. <laughs> You stink. Because the wind is blowing, it smells like fish. Like a three day old seafood dish. Or a Parisian brothel in the Jew like heat. No. Or Sasquatch's smelly feet. Oh, smelly feet. And everyone goes, yeah. Do 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 do. And I do. And I do. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I thought you were going to do this one. Which uh, one? Pat. Uh, <laughs> a, a, like a salmon song. <laughs> Fish <laughs> slopping on the highway. Is this um, Peter and Gordon? Yeah, Chad, Chad and, and, Chad Chad and Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay. Which came first, Chad and Jeremy or Peter and Gordon? I don't know. Kisses on a summer I think Chad day. came first. Jeremy had to wait. <laughs> <laughs> really? They Jeremy, you naughty boy. They, they, they flipped the coin every night. Uh, Did you go on without me? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Uh, wait, eight more minutes. It's a lovely song, right? It is a nice song. What does it have to do with fish? I missed it. Summer song. A salmon song. Oh, salmon okay, song. okay. That's a stretch. That's what we like. The salmon <laughs> wind. <laughs> The um, salmon wind, salmon yeah. Wind. There you go. I smells like fish. Uh, salmon. 
Sammy, Sammy, Sammy likes Sammy likes locks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? About, you got? Oh Lord, I'm swimming. Hold on. <laughs> Um, I'm swimming. That's Sam and Dave. <laughs> oh, oh, Sam and, Sam I, and Dave. I, 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 hold on, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. You know, they fight. Sam and must be really what? good because they swim for how long to get oh, to it, man. right? Yes. Yeah. Upstream. Salmon? Yeah, that's sweet, sweet yeah. salmon. Okay. 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 Salmon. <laughs> sweet, sweet salmon. <laughs> yeah, the little lady salmon system. I know I smell like fish. I'm a fish, for God's sake. What do you yeah, get over it. Yeah. All right. Get down there. Get over Get down there. I'm not ready. Okay. A British woman requested that a grim reaper appear at her funeral. Okay. According to the BBC, Ms. Sharon Tafts passed away in December, yes. and her funeral was held on March 16th. Her daughter, Louise Miller, said her mother planned every part of the memorial, and when a friend joked that he would come dressed as the reaper to point at, mourner, at mourners and say, you're next. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. Half thought the idea was funny, and she made them promise to carry it out. Yes. The no, family, thank you. The family did warn people about the planned joke, and some decided not to attend the yeah, service. They, there are photographs of this. That's funny. Yep. It's meant to be a celebration of life, not necessarily. It's got, got, the guy's got the, uh, what's the thing called, scythe? What do you call that? Yeah, the, a scythe. Mm -hmm. The scythe. huge yeah. blade thing. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's kind of scary. Yeah, her daughter said they're def they defend the idea, saying they were just carrying out her mother's dying wish. Yeah, what are you going to do? You got to do it. Yep. Isn't Grim Reaper the name of a uh, pot? Um, Isn't there like a variant? I mean, in that song by Toby song, Keith? Yeah. Was I think you're thinking of a pepper, the Carolina Reaper, maybe? And he said gr they said Grim Creeper in no. uh, oh, I thought there was that okay. Toby Keith right. song. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. I don't think you... Have you ever seen the... I don't know. I've seen the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. But uh, walking up. around. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Not, yeah. Not on a funeral. I moment. met somebody dressing up for a funeral. Like, oh. there's a. No. Oh, like a costume party? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which one? Uh, bagpipes or Grim Reaper? Which one do you want? Um, Grim Reaper, probably. I'm, really? I'm not sophisticated enough for bagpipes. All I request is that my pallbearers carry me like the Stooges would. Hop, 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 <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> They all have to make that noise. Hilarious. That'd be good. <laughs> Are you going to have a wake, Tom? Do you know? Have you decided? Oh. I thought, I've thought it through. Yeah. You haven't. You seem like you wouldn't tell us, but you'd write everything down. And no, I, have not, I have not done that. No. Opening remarks. Not that close yet, I no. hope. I don't know. Okay. All right. How about you? What do you want? Roll you into a creek. Uh, I, I told you're... you I want to be stuffed and out in the front lobby and uh, uh, holding a microphone that you hit... You push uh, the top uh, button of my tie. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Bob and Tom Studios. I was Chick McGee. Stuff like that. They can do that. Thief. Sure they can. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> You're really thinking of this. I thing. mean, no, no, it's just so awful. Hello. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Hello, I was Jake McGee. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's and then terrible. I have to have a happy now in there somewhere, right? <laughs> happy now. No? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, uh, well, no. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, you may not be dead, but you're, this guy almost was when he found grenades in his garage. Yikes. We'll find out how that went. Also, um, there's a huge monkey problem. <laughs> uh, yes. yeah. Thailand? I, I'm yeah, guessing yeah. Thailand. Yeah, and um, it's in a place called Lop Buri, Thailand. And um, there are monkeys attacking all the tourists. So they're they're trying to do something about it. We'll be hearing about that coming up. Also, that library fine um, may, may put you in jail, so we'll find out about that. And also, what time is it on the moon? Well, it's actually kind of controversial. It's later than you think. Oh, that we'll story's going to be boring, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's really going to be boring. science, I know it's mm. a lot of math and not pseudoscience. Not Jim and sure. NASA. Not and hockey. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> I rarely oh, seen. you haven't seen the hockey fight yet. I've got to show you the hockey fight. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen any it's, hockey highlights. It's wonderful. Today. I'll get that organized. All right. All right, good. Well, if you're in a fight. Yeah. And you uh, heal up and you go, why am I still in some discomfort? <laughs> My fight wounds have all healed. It has nothing to do with the... Melee I was a part of. What's this all about? Well, my gosh, my friend, you may have uh, a poor foundation. Uh -oh. That's right. What are you going to do about it? If you have back pain, hip pain, or knee pain, you know how it affects your daily routine. Maybe you need to ask yourself what kind of support you currently have in your shoes. I bet it's not great. 
Well, for greatness, go to orangeinsoles.com. If you work on your feet all day, you're putting stress on your body. You understand that? Orange insoles offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your whole body, helping to alleviate that pain. Think of a table. If it's wobbly, it's because it doesn't have a strong foundation. It's without proper support. You need proper support with Orange Insoles. They're great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you with their insole quiz. Answer a few questions, they'll get you sized up. No cutting required on these, they're true to size. Head to orangeinsoles.com today for free shipping. Plus, Orange Insoles come with a 60-day we want you to be happy, guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Free shipping and a guarantee? You got to try them out. See if they can't help you with that discomfort you've got. That's orangeinsouls.com. Feel better, do more. Your feet are three-dimensional, people. They're not just this way and that way. They're that way, too. So check it out, Orange Insoles. Right now, I want to remind you of a couple quick things. Pat Godwin will be joining us on stage tomorrow night. Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oske, Joshi. Christy and I will be your hosts um, for a special comedy event in Charleston, West Virginia, at the theater in the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. And that's where we're doing our show tomorrow morning with Duke Tomato. Uh, and uh, I'll also remind you that Patty G. Richmond, Indiana, Saturday night at the Fourth Floor Blues Club. Sam Miller, our guest from yesterday, he's going to be at Vorshay's in Wichita, Kansas tonight, Friday and Saturday evening. Just some of the great shows. Get yourself out there. Have some fun. We're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. I had this. I met Kay on vacation. I heard she had a spicy reputation. She loved many men. Even a lady or two We made love Nights and mornings Then one day she left me without warning She walked out that door I need to see her again If you see Kay She moaned when we were having a ball. If you see Kay, tell her hi. I miss her cooking and eating her pie. I want her back in my bed. I miss the little kisses with her head. Oh, the trick with her tongue, enough to make you go mad. Kayla, like Venus, the feelings of her hands between us. She's the queen of the ball. I need to see her again. If you see Kay, have her right. I miss the way she wiggled under me each night. her lips and feel her below <laughs>
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Honesty, but really the most important thing, gotta have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the Ally McBeal arms and those heroin looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're gonna spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> on November 15th, 1864, Major General William Tecumseh Sherman began his his famous march to the sea. Sherman led his troops from Atlanta, Georgia, to the ocean port of Savannah. As he was leaving, Sherman set the city on fire, gutting 40% of it. Atlanta wouldn't be burned this badly again until they gave their franchise tag to Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom. Wait, Tom, you think I'm more lazy than crazy? <laughs> yeah, what is it with you and everybody's lazy but you? What is, that is the two, that's the second lazy kind of thing you said to me this week. I know hey, oh, he you've been inundated. I'm just yeah. a slug laying on the ground with one eye on the TV and the other eye on DoorDash getting to my house. Yeah. I, I could always do more, but... Uh... Why? Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom it Show. It won't be appreciated. Here's Tom. Of course not. And <laughs> you won't know... I... And you won't know anything about it because he doesn't tell us. I've worked on things real hard yeah. for this show, and uh, it, there's it's no just, difference. Do you remember any of so them? Long ago, <laughs> so long ago, you just can't remember. There's well, no I, I, I think the beating I took yeah. afterwards. No yeah. difference between doing it and not doing I, it. I learned my lesson yeah. not to work hard here. Now we have uh, I, Al. Ja there we go. There's Al Jackson. I can see him. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Look at that. Hey, uh, uh, Al Jackson joins us from Denver, Colorado. Good morning, Al. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm dressed up like a washed-up agent this morning. I I have to leave the house. I'm taking a friend to work. <laughs> you look good. Uh, literally an hour outside of my my way. But like uh, the things we do, Tommy. Oh and wow. Shout out for Jess for being honest about how she wanted to come in with the weather. You know, I appreciate a little honesty in this world. Yeah. If you're at a four, then stay there. You don't have to come with first date energy. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Al. I want office temp at 3.30 on a Friday <laughs> vibes, and I got it. Yep. Thank you. She's uh, just yes, the only honest person in this world. She's just it's not used to getting up this early. No. Day after day after day. So she's a little bit, but, a little bit tired. Well. Tom, but we must admit that, like, that was an amazing read. And I, <laughs> if anybody can cut that and send that to my email, that's all I want for Christmas. Because sometimes I'll just listen to that. I... I, I think the reason I like that show, uh, Love on the Spectrum with the the, the kids uh, with autism dating, is I'm a sucker for honesty. Yes. And, and they're the last, because now, I, Jess, I don't know if you watch any of the dating shows now, like Lo Love is Blind or Married at First Sight, but they're all very 
aware now of their public persona and like how they'll be received online. Yeah, they're building they, a career. People that, Right. It's it's not just, you know, it's even like the Golden Bachelor. They don't even live in the same state. Mm -hmm. Like, I just like when people are just dead honest, like, yeah, like the 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 love on the spectrum is just like, I'm not feeling it. And the other person's like, that makes me sad. But we can be friends. And I'm watching it like, yeah. oh, you can just do that? Yeah. You can just be honest with an adult rather than dragging it out for six and a half weeks and lying that your mom is sick and then saying <laughs> your phone wasn't on. You don't have, it's just like so much dignity to treat somebody with just the honesty of like, hey, Jess, we went out. You seem like a cool chick. It just didn't work. But like, well, yeah, we could let's let's watch the game. And she's like, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's the bulk of your dating life is spent BSing somebody that you're not interested in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, now you said that the Golden Bachelor is no longer living with the. Uh, didn't they get married on TV? They're yeah. married and in they love, got married. They live yeah, separate. but they're not. They're not in the same state. Eight, yeah. First of all. Uh, Ace and I have a <laughs> uh, a secret texting relationship that's been going on for a while. Oh. Two black men that watch a lot of dating, dating shows. shows. <laughs> yes, and so Ace, I don't, I don't know if or why this isn't a segment, but Ace <laughs> knows them shows, boy. And uh, <laughs> I, honestly, like it, a lot of dudes, like I, I I've been watching. All these shows, sadly, for about 10 years. I never really gotten into The Bachelor because I think it comes on. I'm usually doing stand-up. But all the terrible ones, let's go. Love After Lockup, come on. And I, I, I like the, first what, 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 was the, what was the name of Ace's review show? Ace, what is it? Ace Knows Them Shows? Is that the... Uh... I don't know. Ace that. Knows Them Shows, boy. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be good. 90 Day Fiance, my favorite. Uh, what is it? 90 Day Fiance. It's 90, yes, day 90 Day Fiance? Yeah. Usually some... Um, <laughs> foreign <laughs> woman? Are you trying to be well, kind? Yeah, Foreigner? Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm trying to be kind. Ah. Yeah. What is it? Not, oh, oh, they they're trying to do get, become Americans. It's like it's like a mail order bride, and they've yeah, turned it into of. a show. And it's ninety days of usually a woman There's, not from the United States. I with think last season, there was a, a, a sightless man who met a woman online in Vietnam. She doesn't know how to sign. He can't speak. Wow. Yikes. Sounds, sounds like, like the beginning of an offensive yeah. joke. This doesn't sound exploitative at all. No, it's all. Yeah, <laughs> I, like your, I like Al's notion, yeah. A guy who can't yeah, see a, walks into a, a bar a with a deaf chick from Vietnam, <laughs> and then someone says, where's Charlie? And the place explodes. <laughs> <laughs> where's Charlie? I, I, th this is the thing that, that only Ace can verify. The thing is, obviously, the, yes, I don't know if the term now is mail order brides, but that's what they are. Mm -hmm. But sometimes Ace... They show up and they are absolute smoke shows. Oh yeah, yeah. you mm -hmm. think they're a catfish, but like I would say six out of ten times, it, Josh, I'm talking about like an eight point eight shows up in. <laughs> well, it's because they want they want Fox, people to Nebraska. They want people to watch. <laughs> they want people to watch. I, and surprisingly, some of those couples actually last, but not often. They're, yeah. mostly, they're mostly train wrecks. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah well, it makes, makes sense to me. Uh, now, Al, uh, the uh, purpose of our program, of course, is uh, to enlighten the world um, with uh, language, a uh, language uh, very fluid these days, uh, rather yes. flexible, and um, lots of words out there I don't know. Uh, are you doing a Wordle, Al? No. What is what is that? <laughs> don't. Uh, he, oh, nope. He answered the question. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. He's I not doing it. Just, uh, I can't believe you don't talk yeah. about it on your TV show, Daily Blast Live. Explain, uh, explain to us Wordle, Tom. No. Well, it's uh, the most popular game in America. The Is New York it? Times, uh, the, the 30 million people play every day. Um, Sad. Yesterday they had a word that doesn't exist as the answer. It, it absolutely exists. You can find it in any dictionary. Yeah, well, no one's ever used it in America. Plates, P-L-A-I-T. I got it, and I knew what the word was. I got it. I've never heard the word or seen it. It means a braid. Yeah, uh, very commonly never used by anyone in this country. Okay, so what what word do you have for me, Al? <laughs> by the way, before I'm sorry, Tom, but before we get started, I just have to say again, Jess comes in with just my favorite <laughs> vibe because you say, uh, "Yeah, I want to talk about word," and she just goes, "No," <laughs> <laughs> and it was such an honest way to just say, "I don't want to talk about word." It's such a but divisive Tom, game in this office. It really. is the it's the new uh, water cooler talk topic among the elite. I love it. Wow. <laughs> I, I love it. All right, Tom, let's get into it. Uh, the, you know, uh, we did this a couple weeks ago, and I wanted, you know, I always want to start with a refresher. Uh, so, Tom, 
uh, tell everybody uh, what the phrase hold this L means. Um, hold this owl? L. 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 Oh, 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 L. L. Sorry. L. I thought it was some kind of Harry Potter thing. That's the thing you say after hold the drugs owl. have kicked in. <laughs> hold my owl. Uh, man, Oop. you see that owl? Can you hold it for just a second? It's lonely. Can you help him? Hold that L. You taught me this and I've already forgotten? It sounds hold so this special. L. Hold this L. Um, or take this L. Is this a, a criminal enterprise? No, not at all. Okay, you're not you're not holding. You, you could actually use it uh, around the office, around the water cooler, in kind of the situation that you just uh, laid out for us. Does the L stand for something that starts with an L? It does. Okay, so it it wouldn't be like oh, is it uh, if you're in a situation and you're um, chatting up some woman, and you have to go to the bathroom and you do, say when your buddies, hey, hold this lady here while I go, don't hit on her. <laughs> no. Hold this no, L. But no. There should be some kind of, like, maybe you can leave your phone at the table that says this, or especially when you're at the bar, that it says this woman is spoken for. Because you do come back from the bathroom, and uh, sometimes really nice women, they, they don't know that this new guy is, like, hitting on them. They're like, oh, this is Josh. He works in IT. He came over. It's like he's came over because he's trying to uh, have at you. And now I got to have this weird conversation with him that tells him, hey, buddy, she's spoken yeah. for. That's why that on, would dates, be a good nap. on dates, whenever I go to the bathroom, I stand up. And, Nobody talk to her! Yeah, you, <laughs> you guys could just, I love her. You just pee a circle around us. That, that now, when, <laughs> now, just to, to hold this scenario for just a moment. Um, now, when you're with a bunch of guys, you'll, you'll get up and say, look, I've got to go see a man about a horse or something or... Maybe go yes, into the. That's what my dad said. Yeah, no. What do you, my dad used to say that. Now, Always hilarious. What do you say to a lady? Do you say I'm going to go pee, or do you say I've got to go to the washroom, the men's room? Washroom. Uh, uh, no, I'll just say I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm about to uh, step out. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. I'm, yeah. I'm going to step out. <clears throat> yes. That sounds like but you're leaving I, the bar. I, well, this is well. This is an issue less if you are in a home that's got more than two. I'm, let's assume that you're going to do some some damage in there. I am a big, I, and I'm sure I know I'm going to split the country with this. I don't really like uh, yeah, farting around my girl. I don't like that from her. I don't burp around her. I don't like the. Sure. the no. I, I, I like to keep that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That you're not my homeboy. So like, I'm not going to treat you like that. And but I also, I, if I hear you. Fart through the wall. I understand. I shouldn't. I should have had my earbuds in. But <laughs> by the way, you, uh, who, who are you dating? For God's sake, sounds through, like Ace. Uh, through the wall. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, Ace farts. Uh, look, farts look, holes in his underwear. You know. No, look. You, you can you hear. Know, like, sure. It, there's a bathroom <laughs> attached to the to the master bedroom. That's, I mean, what do you think that is? Uh, the U.S. Mint steel? <laughs> it's just, it's going to go through. Of course. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're, you know, run some water or flush the toilet, exactly. for God's sake. So yes. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out what hold that L means. So, oh, it's, so it's, not uh, as, it's not as primitive as just hold the line or stop it, calm down. Or, this is, this is, you're, you're, Josh, help him out. I don't know the answer to this. I was <laughs> going to guess, guess, does it mean take the loss? Like, hey, yes. this one. Did, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I was saying you could say that with your uh, oh. with your Wordle game, Tom. You just say, Jess, I know you're mad because, uh, you know, we have to play Wordle game, but do me a favor. Just hold this L today and then complain again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So it, does it, you're acknowledging your own loss, is that correct? You're acknowledging that your you're win. telling somebody else they're about to lose. Yeah. Oh, just take the oh, loss. Even You'll be playing right. you. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll move on from this. And, okay. Yeah. yeah, hold that L. Yeah. Hmm. Hold that L. Loser. I mean, no. Oh, you. <laughs> you, can, yeah, you can do that, too. So what do you do when you're talking to somebody at a bar and you don't want anybody else to talk to her? Do you, do you like to make a circle around her? Is that what she's, you're supposed to well, do? Well, Jess said she likes when the, she's flattered when the man pees a circle around her. Yeah. Then, oh. I, then I don't have yes. to talk for myself and say, Oh, that's. I'm already talking to this gentleman over here. <laughs> No. no. There may be some satire in what Jess yeah. Because there, yeah. Because <laughs> there are girls, girls out there who don't understand. Girls yeah. are always on the hunt, you know. Oh, and, they're, they're, they're wiener oh, crazy. Yeah. All right, All right. Uh, let's get back to our guest, shall we? Okay. Uh, we're speaking with comedian Al Jackson from the Daily Blast Live. <sighs> Al, what else have you got? Uh, I, I have a, a phrase that I love. I, I guess it's a phrase. Yeah, figure speech. Uh, Tom, what is that? Day one or day ones? D A Y. O N E S. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, day one means from the beginning, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but day ones. 
Um, is it the same? Is it just a yeah. different version of that? Yeah, kind of. It's more of a label. Minnesota? Yeah, it's more of a label. Yes. Uh, Some, use use it in a sense for me, Jess. Um, uh, m my girl, uh, Lisa, uh, we started out in kindergarten, kindergarten together. She's uh she's a day one. She's been there with me since, mm -hmm. since the beginning. She's a day one. Oh, okay. Like, so, so it's like your first friends. Okay. I see. The people that have been like, oh, So you, you can know. say, I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, when I go out with, uh, uh, Chick and Josh, they're day ones. I've known them forever. Right. So that's, is that the plural use of it? Day ones? Day ones. I yeah. Can't. I mean. That that's it. That's it exactly. Yeah, yeah. your your best friends that you've known forever, forever. Yeah. Your real friends. So yeah, yeah. I, I, that was a perfect uh, description. Day mm. like you know, really co my comedy career. Like you guys are basically my day ones. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean it's been. By definition one can't be plural. I can't. <laughs> I hate that. I like a day to say a, a day one. Al, have you heard of a day two? Have you heard Have you heard that the the the, the friends that come later in life that you're really close to that you really built a relationship with how about a doomsday nope. <laughs> <laughs> my doomsday yeah. one yes is that a real phrase because i absolutely love that yeah it is actually so yeah. I, as you can see i was with my day ones then a couple of my day twos came up but they don't get along with the day ones yeah kind because they, yeah, they didn't you, know me back yeah, when yeah before yeah. i had the surgery right yeah different friend groups <laughs> for sure <laughs> they are different they know me well, as you're Thomas a different Cena. person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're uh, a different person. And exactly. it's like it's you know, your day ones and day two should get along. I will say mm -hmm. that. But you you're a different person probably in high school than you are at forty. Yeah. And uh yeah, it's it's weird that they don't get along. It's like, oh, then that means you would have hated your former self. Right. I love it. I, I remember reading this article about uh, uh the great singer Bob Dylan was on tour and he was he was traveling in an R V with his high school buddy. <laughs> you know, yeah. rather than getting a limo drive, yeah. just some one of his day ones. Yeah, a guy that knew That's him before. Awesome. A guy that knew him before he was famous, and does he's, he's like not going to ask him a bunch of dumb questions. What does blowing in the wind mean? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, if you think about, uh, in uh, you know, whenever a TMZ story about an athlete uh, breaks, which is daily, and it's you know some guy and some woman in some hotel, I always say for as much as people hate and they're like oh if i was famous i'd be getting all these chicks you notice who's winning no problems patrick mahomes he's with his basically day one mm -hmm. college chick so you stay with the girl with the people that knew you before you were famous mm -hmm. it's a big deal you can be more relaxed around them i always said you know michael phelps that picture of him hitting that bong that i was taken by a friend at a party mm -hmm. that's that that's not a day one you need to keep your people around you it's gonna it's gonna get you jammed up which is our next word tom yeah day one smacks the phone out of the pit the yes. picture taker's hand <laughs> exactly yeah Abs absolutely oh, or just collects the phones when they come in the room You're right yeah just right, like, right. yeah I, i've seen it from a lot of famous comedians they'd be like yeah i knew uh blah 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 since we worked at the car wash in 96 and we shook hands <laughs> and we've been uh we don't have any paper you know, we're just, we're family. It just, it works better. We don't have any paper? Was like, no contract. Yeah, there's no NDAs oh, okay. or anything like that right. between them. I was jumping yeah. ahead. I thought it was some kind of rolling a joint thing. Sorry. Oh, uh, oh I paper. thought I thought you uh, co-signed a loan form or something. <laughs> yeah, very good. Well, I, I didn't think you were jumping ahead. I thought you were jumping a stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder if the rolling paper industry has taken a hit because there are so many different ways to consume marijuana. Now. Must have, must have. In states where it's to. legal. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can get gummy bears and uh, the, the, liquids and all kind of stuff. I, I can't imagine. It's been great for uh, Easy Rider. I've never been in a, an American dispensary. Uh, the only one I've been to was in Amsterdam decades ago. But do they sell yes. pre-rolled joints? And, are, yes. and if so, are they popular? Yes. I, don't know. I, I know they yes, sell they are. Are popular. But okay. I was in one. They yep. had hey, do they have... Um, I, 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 uh, what's the called? I'm sorry, I got to think of this for a second. Uh, the nicot is a transdermal patch. You know, they have those for nicotine. Uh, yeah. Do they have those for marijuana? Oh, I don't know. And if so, Ooh, you, if so, you, dangerous. if so, you could put like a cool tattoo on it. Oh, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. the, like the trucking I would guy. Say, <laughs> uh, keep on trucking. Probably our, our yes. <laughs> Because there is weed lotion that you can kind of smoothen your skin. Obviously, your skin has pores and absorbs it. And I know they also have weed bath bombs, Ugh. which you can just sit in the tub. Like, I'm like, this guy's, come on. You need to be do they have, high. What's going on? Do they have weed shaving cream? 
Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, I <don't> but <laughs> you, you, I would th- it, leave it on for five everything minutes. Else. Cut your face, <laughs> Tom. I got to tell the story really quickly oh, because you ahead. mentioned dispensaries. Uh, when I was, uh, I did the can- the Cabo Comedy Festival probably I don't know six seven years ago, and uh, you know we landed at the airport and they have to take you in that shuttle to your uh, to, to your little villa thing because uh, you'll be murdered uh, if you don't go straight to the resort. <laughs> and so we are go- we're driving. And the, you know, it's 12 tourists in the Sprinter van, and uh, none of us know each other. We pull over at the pharmacy, and we're like, did anybody ask to stop here? But, you know, as soon as we stop, we're like, okay, well, I guess went in Rome. So we go in this pharmacy, and, uh, you know, I was in there looking for a little, you know, a little male enhancement. Why not? And uh, I didn't know how to ask for it because, you know, it's the medical name, and it's just the boxes, but you can buy whatever you want. And I'm uh, I'm trying to point the guy to what I wanted, and he just like got frustrated and turned to me and goes, "Look, do you want cocaine or what?" <laughs> he went right to cocaine. Josh, it was 1:30 in the afternoon. No one. It was out of nowhere. He was tired of looking for whatever this black dude was. At. He was like, "Look, there's a reason that you stopped here. <laughs> Stop getting Sudafed." <laughs> Very uh, direct sales. Uh, Al Jackson is uh, <laughs> one of the hosts of the Daily Blast live on a TV and a computer near you. Al, thank you as always. We'll look forward to talking to you next week, and I'll I'll uh, work on ones. holding my L's. Uh, <laughs> no, there's no L with this. No, no. I mean, I got an occasional L. I got to deal with. Okay, okay. yes, yeah. I, uh, and well, your day ones L. are here to help you with that L. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much, day ones. Uh, <laughs> there you uh, go. Right Bye, now, the, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help. Um. What's better help is all about is uh, making access to therapy and your own mental health, making access to therapy a lot easier. Get yourself recharged. And uh, as you know, uh, it helps so many people. And now you can take a lot of the hassle factor, if you will, out of it. The way it works is the therapy is done online. And uh, you, the way it works is you uh, do a little questionnaire and you'll be matched with a therapist And by the way, there are more than 35,000 therapists participating in this program, and they'll find one that works for you. And then, by the way, you can switch anytime, uh, no extra fee or anything. And uh, the beauty of the whole enterprise is you are doing the therapy online. You can do it like it's a Zoom call. uh, You can do it like you're on the phone. You can do it texting back and forth. It's all about whatever works for you. It's all about flexibility and convenience, and at the same time, doing something important for you. Find your social sweet spot with better help. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Once again, the BT Show will knock 10% off your first month. Work on yourself a little bit, and once again, in a much more convenient manner with BetterHelp at BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. This portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. Coming up, grenades in the news. Monkeys in the news, by the way, not holding grenades. Cool NASA news coming up and more. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or can... Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. For a bunch of weird experiences, I become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh, yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers, Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off, so he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And while we're out, he sees a young lady. He says, I think I know her. I think she's an actress. I think me and my wife hung out with her. I said, hey, man, we're in Kansas City. There's no way that chick's an actress. <laughs> she probably works at Cheesecake Factory or something. <laughs> And he said, no, watch as he calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. <laughs> oh. They're here playing the arena tomorrow night, and they're here having dinner. Oh, so maybe it was Carrie Mulligan. Might have been. Yeah. I don't know who it was. But he sends them a bottle on us, he says, which meant on him. him, yeah. Because I'm not. <laughs> Listen, if you're, if you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and we're hanging out, <laughs> You're buying. Yeah. All right. Sorry, dude. You fly private. You're That's buying drinks. Yeah. That is a good one. I think it's fair. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, he buys drinks. He doesn't even show up on his register. I buy drinks. I can't buy shoes next month. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. 
It's just Ann's sons. <laughs> oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, ah. <laughs> So <laughs> Ann's sons come over, start talking to the Detroit Tigers. I'm not really involved, so I kind of tune it all out. When I come back into focus, Ann's sons are kind of talking smack <laughs> to the Detroit Tigers about beer pong. They're like, hey, we'll whoop your butt in some beer pong. And the Detroit Tigers are like, we get paid very handsomely to put balls places. Right. <laughs> uh, bring it. <laughs> so I said, hey, fellas, my parents live about eight minutes from here. Oh, boy. We could settle this. And I said that because I know both Ann's sons and the Detroit Tigers have an entire floor to do whatever they want. <laughs> so there's no reason to come to parents' house. It was complete fake hospitality. Right. Until they all turned around and looked at me and said, hell yeah, <laughs> let's go to your parents' house and play beer pong. And I went, God. Crap. Because <laughs> it is now 2 o'clock on a Sunday night. Oh. Technically Monday morning. Yes. My parents are not gypsies. <laughs> right? They have real jobs that start in like five hours. Yes. But I also can't look at all these dudes and be like, you guys, <laughs> my parents. <laughs> so I just said, whatever. We're going to roll the dice, see what happens. Sure. So we get there. First off, as we're leaving, my sister texts me. She says, hey. I'm out and about. If you get home before I do, will you walk my dog? <laughs> I said, hey, unless you're out and about with the Dave Matthews band, you better get your butt home because it's about to go down at Ma and Pa's house. <laughs> <laughs> so we get back to my parents' house, start throwing beer pong, and stuff got weird. <laughs> like weirder than I've already described. Like my sister, who is 30, yes. ended up in her prom dress. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Oh, no. God bless her for still being able to fit in it, mm -hmm. but also the hell, right? So uh, we, at one point in the evening, I go outside to partake in some uh, illegal activities. And uh, uh, I'm assuming the pot, not the pot, yeah, not, yes. not murder. Okay. No. Uh, well, murder. we were going to see where it went. Sure. And uh, so Ann's sons come with me. But uh, as it was the middle of the baseball season, the Detroit Tigers could not partake. Right. Sure. Uh, so they had to pretend like it was the playoffs and watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, read an almanac. So we came back in from smoking, and my dad's downstairs, and he's upset. He's like, what's going on down here? And I said, well, this is uh, half the Detroit Tigers bullpen. And this is Ann Sons from Mumford and Sons. <laughs> and we're playing beer pong. And it was in that moment that I realized my father was no longer sure if he was actually awake. Because uh, <laughs> you got to look at it from his point of view. He walks downstairs. It's the middle of the night. He sees a bunch of weird dudes that he kind of recognizes. And my sister's in her prom dress. Uh, <laughs> like, things are weird. Yeah. And he's just confused. He's just like, uh... Uh, is that Justin Verland? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir, it is. He goes, I don't know what's happening right now. And he walked upstairs. That was the last we saw of him. Wow. He didn't say, is Kate here? <laughs> no, no, he was just like, what? And the whole next day, I'm freaking out because my parents do a lot for me. I don't even be making them upset over some stupid. Sure. Right. So uh, when dad gets home, I'm completely ready to take him out to dinner, buy him some drinks. And he walks in like he's had the greatest day of his life. And I say, what happened to you? And he's like, well, I woke up this morning and I hated you. <laughs> I cursed your name all the way to work. <laughs> then I got to work and everyone started asking me why I look so tired and exhausted. So I started complaining about my son bringing home the Detroit Tigers <laughs> and Mumford and Sons and playing beer pong all night. And now I'm the coolest dude in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Chick McGee from the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com and check out the list for a station near you or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Hold on a second. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom? Yes. Yeah. Bob Vila. <laughs> Bob Vila, the Bob, uh, hey. uh, Bob. famed famed home repair host. How is, how's it going, Bob? Uh, pretty good. Good. What can we do for you? Hey, you know, you guys are talking about something. It's pretty common. Uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of the home
arm repair guys do it. I do it all the time. You What's actually, that? You actually take a nail and pound it into your penis on purpose? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, really? do, you, do you use a nail gun or do you use a regular traditional hammer and nail? Oh, I, I'm, I'm not a conservative guy. I just use a nail. Okay. Oh, okay. In fact, I was at the hardware store the other day picking up a nail just for that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I uh, took it up to the counter. The guy goes, uh, that'll be a dollar. I go, great. He goes, that'll be a dollar four with tax. I go, tax? Wait a minute, I am kinky? Uh, <laughs> tax, too! <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, uh, with Mr. Gaffigan. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, and I believe it's time, Tom. It's time for the big, uh, the big, uh, the, 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 what many people wait for. Oh, everybody waits <laughs> yes. for this moment. Oh, this is a right here. turn of events. Yes, time. here we go. <laughs> um, uh, we have a, a coming up a special edition of Allie Breen and Sexy Time. But uh, right now, without any further ado. Who's that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice? Mm. Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. Hey, Chick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Headphones down and my mic off. Hey, Chick. Yes, Ace. Where does 82% of the methane on Earth come from? Where does 82% of the methane come? Uh, I don't know, Ace, where. The derriere. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. You know, cows, dairy, you know. This isn't sponsored right now, is it? No. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts, Tom? <laughs> Cows give a lot. Yeah, of yeah. I, um, maybe the, there should have been like a farming cow breeding thing in the beginning of the setup. I, uh, oh, look, there's Jess Hooker. What have you got over there? Oh, okay. We're going to do news? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We're just having to sit there to keep the seat warm. Authorities in California say a resident found live hand grenades in his garage. Whoa. Yeah. The Pleasanton Police Department said a citizen had dropped off three hand grenades, but unbeknownst to him, the grenades were live. Wouldn't you like to see Tom go into his garage and see a live hand grenade? <laughs> he would How do you absolutely know if it's live? The pins in it? lose No, his mind. That, that, it, you don't know. I mean, you'd have to get a munitions I would think expert. One, that's, that's an indication. Yeah. I would think right. so, too, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, sure would, but you still don't know, yeah. But there are fake ones and there are dummy ones. Right. And there's, I, I, did they make paperweights of hand grenades? Thought it was funny. <laughs> <Or> <laughs> they make, remember they used to make lighters that looked like a hand grenade? I know oh, they made, yeah. um, they had guns that looked like a, a, a lighters that looked like yeah. a gun. Yeah. That was, yeah. But the hand grenade, I mean, it, the, the, whoever brought them in, they described this person as a citizen. Yeah. So does, he brought it, didn't know that they were live. No. Hmm. Uh, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office bomb squad took custody of the munitions for destruction. Holy moly. Police warned that if people find any potentially dangerous explosives, they should not touch the devices and instead call their local authorities. Take them to Goodwill. <laughs> Drop <laughs> no, them off no. there. <laughs> There's a bomb. <laughs> Shoes, clothing, hand grenades. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But what, what is this one? It says Acme TNT. What does that mean exactly? Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, but uh, how, How? I mean, did he recently buy the home? Is it new? Yeah, you know what knows? I mean? But, I mean, the, there was the one last week where the guy's dog dug, d- up. dug up and it was a bomb. Mm-hmm. And that was in Florida. Yeah, but I think that was, was, it wasn't live. But somebody, we thought maybe it was a, maybe a veteran buried it, I brought thought, it back. I, I thought, don't know. No, I thought they, they that one was live. Oh, right? was live? Yeah. That's scary. Hmm. I, I don't know whose it was, but or where it came from. Yeah, I, I'd have to dig the story up, but I'm pretty sure that one was real. Oh, that. No. What else is happening? I'd lose my mind. I'd be very, very scared. Do you have I'm, any live? Uh, any munitions? live munitions? No, yeah. I don't. No? no, no, no live ones. No, de- any dead ones? Um, maybe a couple. I'd have to look. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. it's in a drawer here. Check there. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. The. Uh, um, dog finds decades-old unexploded weapon digging in backyard oh. in Florida. That Matthew, sounds like a potato masher, right? Matthew Sims of Jacksonville, Florida, told WJAX. Uh, all jacks, all the time. <laughs> and some balls. Balls and jacks. 
I think they have huh. one of those uh, huh? lo- local morning shows. Hey, uh, get up. Jack's up. Jack's and ball. Okay. Um, uh, this dog named Baby was playing in their backyard, and uh, Baby dug up a rusted object. It was military ordnance. Weighed about 10 pounds. They say it had been buried for quite some time. 10 they, pounds? That's big. Uh, the authorities had to evacuate the surrounding area to dispose of it. So uh, uh, there you go. I, I, again, I don't know why it would be, unless it was from a nearby military base and yeah, they had live true. ammo or the mm-hmm. maybe the Germans got closer than we thought with those U-boats. Mm. We were talking about top hats earlier. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, and the, they used to be very popular. You're watching the Lincoln Show Manhunt on Apple Plus, and they, boy, they're, everybody wears a top hat on that. Well, uh, one of our listeners, Tyler, just emailed me, and I, I forgot about this, and I feel like I need to remind you guys. Uh, there are little air conditioners uh, and fans inside the oh. top of the top hat to keep your head uh, nice and cool. Oh, yeah, guys, I, I forgot about that, too. You guys yeah, knew yeah. that. So, yeah. Back then, they were gas-powered. Gas-powered. Yeah, and then uh, batteries came yeah, around. Well, now, they're, they're lithium battery. They, they're Very like help. Right. a sure. lifetime. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, if you get up close to a guy wearing a top hat, you'll hear a... A slight whir. Yeah, a slight and sometimes if, the, if it's too strong, the hat will just fly off the guy's yep, head. Yep. <laughs> just straight up into the air. It's straight up, Tom. You, you would see it air. all the time. Uh, coming up, oh. it'll be a sexy time with Allie Breen. Looking forward to that. Uh, now, uh, looking forward also to tomorrow's show coming to you from West Virginia live. And also a special evening show tomorrow with uh, Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oske, uh, Josh... Christine and I will be your hosts. Tickets for sale for that show, Ticketmaster.com in Charleston at the theater, Charleston, West Virginia at the Coliseum and Convention Center. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The brimstone got so that gum hot it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived right. He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the spirit, so to speak. With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come. I've run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? (laughs) Joe said, well, y'all just use the whole dang place. Ain't nine on a jukebox, amazing grace. I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open the night if it's all right with y'all. Preacher says, well, I reckon it'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I could do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the First Baptist Bar and Grill, it's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. When the sinners finish one more round, we'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and pray we don't get killed. The evangelists came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well, said the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills that taught youth Sunday school and two dickens in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with the Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall drunk trucker about to puke, had John 316 memorized, trying to dry him out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelist yelled about the lights and the bears said, White, you can't save any soul in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher says, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. You only saved one sinner. That's Todd McGuire. He's a little son bit. Set my church on fire. <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and it done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. I'm trying to think, make sure I don't cuss in here, because usually in the Please show don't. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the lyrics. And wine in here is always chill. Oh, yeah. And we're here every Sunday. We're living large. We're the only church with a cover charge. <laughs> and if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, we'll have our bouncer throw your ass out. Of the First Baptist Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com. Check out the list for a station near you or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Studio by comedian Sam Miller. I was thinking about this. When I started comedy, I was driving a 2003 Kia Spectra. Like, that's the wow. car that I was driving to go to all these gigs. And it was way too small. It was very small. I would fart and my ears would pop. That's how small it was. That is a small car. <laughs> I, liked, I liked the car, but it was always coming out of alignment. And it was always um, pulling to the left, and I'd take it into the shop. And then it turns out that's just the side I was sitting on. Yeah. <laughs> so. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my feet. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Al from the MES News Center in New York. I'm Tom Bochow. In Bogota, Colombia, Brian Naranjo, age 18, says being small has its advantages, one being having a better view of girls in miniskirts, standing just 27.9 inches tall. Naranjo <laughs> 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 was named the smallest man in Latin America. <laughs> Guinness Book of Records. Uh, 27 inches Besides tall. Besides holding the number one position, he fulfilled another dream by going to Disneyland where he called... The It's a Small World exhibit, disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> In Stockholm, Sweden, Leif Borg, warning he would blow the courtroom into the air just 10 minutes earlier at his divorce trial, pulled dynamite from his briefcase and set it off, killing himself and seriously wounding his wife's lawyer severing the lawyer's limbs. Wow. Witnesses said the explosion occurred during proceedings to determine how the couple's property would be split. For once, a lawyer got the charge that cost him an arm and a leg. And on a high one, not a boy. Good move. <laughs> call, call. <laughs> Throw away the script and get out. <laughs> Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. A thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces <laughs> drawn by Edvard Monk. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Guy, if he wants it. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Jessica Alsman joins us. Howdy. There's Josh Arnold. Chickster. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee. And here's Tom Griswold. Coming up, a special edition of Sexy Time with Allie Breen. Sexy. We'll certainly look forward to that. Lots of sex. Special Thursday edition. <laughs> Thursday. What, do you, what do you mumble up? Sexy, 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 sexy. sexy, 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 sexy. Uh, now, um, uh, tomorrow night, once again, special show in Charleston, West Virginia. Will there be sex? Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, perhaps, maybe during your segment, they'll be. Oh, and go to the car, knock one off while uh, 
bloviate over there. Gets a... Yikes. Um, bloviate. I like being called bloviate. <laughs> oh, bloviate. I yeah. thought you said blow the eight. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. We have um, Ms. Hooker sitting in at the news desk. Have we missed anything? Can I read an email real quick? I hope not. Dear Bob and Tom. <laughs> I was threatened by Mark. Mark said I had to read this. Oh, boy, yeah, and he yeah, means it. Yeah. Listening to this morning's horrible program. <laughs> Thank you. And heard that Tom was driving alone to West Virginia. <laughs> and he thought of placing a GPS tracker in his vehicle so that everyone can see the route he takes. Oh. Let's be honest. There's a good chance he takes a detour through mm. Nebraska or something like that and then blames his GPS. As Charlie Daniels would say, via Omaha. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Cliff, for the nice email. Right, That's yeah. a fact. My GPS took me across the Ohio River twice inadvertently. Uh, it said, keep right, big letters. Right. And if you keep right, you go over the bridge. That's well, right. And then verified by one of our staff members. Oh, yeah. really? Well, Just what are they lines. going to do? They're terrified of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. Looking forward to it. Uh, now, uh, hey, what else is there going on in the, at the news desk? Residents of a tourist town in Thailand are under siege by rampaging monkey gangs. Monkey gang! <laughs> Switchblades. <laughs> hey, uh, how you doing? Oh, uh, what do we uh, got here? Where you, where you headed? <laughs> oh, yeah? Huh. Hey, we we want to go there, don't we? Hey, what's your hurry? <laughs> Slow down. Remember, we, we've heard about these monkeys yeah. before. Police in the town of Lotbori are arming themselves with slingshots and tranquilizer guns to combat the aggressive <laughs> macaques. I mean, macaques. <laughs> Is it a macaque? It's a macaque. It is macaque. It's oh, macaque, my bad. Yeah. Uh, the primates are known to climb on cars, take food from shops, steal from tourists, and vandalize property. Yeah, this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you going to... Oh, why don't you try and take it? Do they quote the <laughs> conservation officer in your story? Uh, yeah, though staff at the Department of National Parks, Wildlife, and Plant Conservation have been capturing and relocating the worst offenders. Local authorities have ordered a task, off, a task force to create and tackle this issue. I had the audio from this guy. Um, his name is uh, One Flu Dung. Oh. He's the <laughs> no, I don't have that quote. He's the, uh, <laughs> he's the spokes monkey? I see, yes. He's the, he's the plant conservation officer. What do they have? Sling, did you say slingshots? The tourists. The police, yeah. the police have The police are using oh, slingshots. Oh, oh. Are, are there guns broken? I don't understand. They have tranquilizers. They may be illegal there. Maybe guns now, don't. There is, a, there is actually a follow-up. Oh. oh, really? That story was from two days ago. Oh, I didn't have the new one, sorry. No, here it, is. it just came across the wire, as they say. Um, <laughs> officials have a plan to end years of monkey mayhem in central Thai city. They say they're going to tackle the problem at the end of the year. <laughs> Duh! Because, you know, December is the month you want to go after your monkeys. Right. <laughs> this is the same town where they have a festival like celebrating the monkeys. Celebrating. So it feels like and, and you tourists, may have brought this on yourself. Yeah. And I think tourists go there yeah. to see monkeys and have monkeys eat with them outside. Yes. Yeah. So That's then the they thing. didn't get the note oh, that the party fresco. was over. Like, I guess they're not. still out there partying right. and doing their thing. They didn't know. Right. Tom, could you eat um, maybe a nice salad bar uh, out of doors with a couple of monkeys sitting at your table? I don't think so. Yeah. I There's a photograph so. here of a monkey just waiting for the office door to open at some place. Well, he's he's late for work. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't that? have his fob. This is my third. This will be my third strike. There, 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 there can be. Um, hey, there, says, Cheetah, where's your where's your fob, pal? Now it says uh, this. Uh, here's another account. It says the official monkey catching campaign has been launched. Okay. Uh, prioritizing once again the more aggressive alpha monkeys. They've moved 37 so far. Would you arm wrestle a monkey, <laughs> chick? I don't think I would. <laughs> They're gonna. I would. I. They bite. I would, Scratch you. I no, get, no. If it promised not to bite you. I get wigged out, man. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of that little uh, capuchin monkey? Remember, we had her in yeah. here. I was, sit on your shoulder and stuff. I yep. was driving around she in had the a crush on you, in right? the neighborhood. Yeah, and I was, and this woman rode by me on a bicycle and had a, a capuchin monkey up on she her was, shoulder. Uh, wow. She was. Uh, a lunatic. Training? No, no. no. Oh, this, oh. this was part of a program. These monkeys help people that are disabled that need. Oh, some, okay. And it was a serious business, and they, uh, yeah. they they lived with that monkey for a long time. And I went on the on the air on this radio show, <laughs> and I said, "Hey, I saw this lady with a monkey," and everybody thought it was crazy. And then she came over. She brought the monkey over. Wow. And the monkey presented herself to me. Oh. And she said, "That's very much 
a compliment in the monkey world. You know, it's considered rude not to then... I think the monkey... <laughs> she's <laughs> still looking right. for me. Because there's song, nothing like madder a, than a monkey who flirts. A taste of monkey <laughs> tasting much sweeter. Uh, um, how, right. does a, how does a monkey present? What she if, turned around and shoved her butt at me. She did? Yes! Is that how all animals present? I looked at you and said, are you man enough to take this? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know what this will take brass balls to take this. <laughs> all right? Um, by the way, uh, you you are right. This this uh, this city has a they call it the Monkey Buffet Festival. Yeah, yeah. we've like, talked about this place a bunch of times. Yeah, macaques are a protected. Oh, uh, it's macaque species <laughs> under Thailand's wildlife conservation laws. Some blame the troubles on icy tourists feeding the monkeys. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, yes, of course. And they give them cigarettes, don't they? They're hooked on cigarettes. I know I would. Oh, yeah. So f I know. I'd say, hey, I give hey a, where are the macaques? <laughs> Actually, I'd hand out pipes. I think a pipe uh, smoking monkeys <laughs> is real monkey funny. That'd be pipe. very funny. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, in 2000, <laughs> wow, they they neutered 2,600 of these monkeys a couple years ago. But how still, long does that take? Oh. Uh, I mean, you got to catch them. Do you I, think they have to put them under in an, an operating theater type situation, or that? Sure. They just, or is there yeah, a really? Shot? It's probably a shot. Yeah, I was going to say they don't just shoot it with something <laughs> to neuter them. I don't. They have to. I think they probably have to remove their their little monkey testicles. I know oh, okay. how they're. I know how you could neuter them, Josh. You could. Uh, <laughs> he's not having any kids. I can tell you that. A chemical neutering. That's a thing, right? Chemical, chemical castration. Castration. Sure. castration yeah. yeah. Does it really help with the aggression, or are they not? Angry that they're now missing. There are too many of them. I'll make them mad. Yeah. yeah. You see my nuts? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, um, I'm sorry. We can move on from it's attack. My, it's my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the White House has directed NASA to establish a unified standard of time for the moon. Here we go. Uh, uh, really tackling the tough bodies. issues, huh? Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> According to the head of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy... That's right! It's me! <laughs> they've instructed the space agency to devise a plan by the end of 2026 for setting up a coordinated lunar time. Here's the thing. It's the same time as it is here, only seven minutes yes, off. Yes, but sir, we've been trying to... No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> you um, really think this is important, sir? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why do they have to... How many times have you said this? What time is it on the moon? Why don't they just well, go with you know. Greenwich Mean Time and call it a day? Yeah, it's Coordinated Lunar Time, LTC. No, why even bother? Who's LTC? using it? Yeah, yeah exactly. LTC would provide a timekeeping benchmark for lunar spacecraft and satellites that require extreme precision for their missions. Or they could just use Eastern Standard. <laughs> anything. Time, anything. Yeah. Well, I'm, that would be confusing. Pacific. Or... If you're in Houston, you're going to be on Central Time. Well then, then you got the whole, Houston. now does the moon do they have moon daylight time? <laughs> do I don't they? think so. So this is why they have to have so that, that it would be internationally agreed that it's x time on the moon and it would stay there. Yeah. Just useless legislation. <laughs> mm. Until we live there. They have to do something in Washington. <laughs> They're collecting all that money in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, what are they going to do with it all? So what are they calling it? Are they calling it moon standard time? LTC coordinated lunar time. Okay. You mean CLT? So CLT? No, CLT. it says They're, they're trying LTC. to avoid CLT. Oh, yes. lunar yeah. coordinated time. Okay. Yeah. Coordinated lunar international time? Right. <laughs> CLT. Well, it, CLIT time. Pardon me, sir. Do you have the clit? <laughs> <laughs> Ask and what her. time is that on a clit? What, what it, time in fact, okay. wait a minute. Now it goes on to say they... This, a lot of guys can't find that time. Okay. This would, I can find that time. This would have to be agreed upon by... Other countries. Yeah. And all the moon man. <laughs> uh, sir, we're going to have to ask you to go back in the basement. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> this is actually, I didn't know that. Listen to this. They have a, there's a pact called the Artemis Accords involving uh, how countries act in space and on the moon, <laughs> international agreements. But guess what? China and Russia have not signed the Artemis Accords. No yeah. kidding. There's not, they're not, nobody they're they gonna want the moon, up. probably. Yeah. yeah. We're not sharing it. That is actually, <laughs> that's an issue. Who owns the moon? Who's going to get that land? Me. I'm, I'm not kidding. Yeah. There's also a... Because um, technically, I think the Russians were there first, I think. Mm. There's also a tribe um, oh. of an 
I'm not sure if it's in Canada or the U.S. of, of uh, that. Yeah, that they they have some kind of issue with uh, going to the moon because for religious purposes. Right? They're so. saying they should or shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't, apparently. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, who knows? I, uh, I don't think we should mess with it anymore. I don't either. Moon time? Move on. Moon time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once you get up there and look back and go, yeah, there's, there's there it is. is. Yeah. Uh, something else. And then you get back in the ship, right? You don't just have to... If you I think a trip to the moon would be like a paddle boat in the middle of a big lake. You get out in the middle and you're just like, okay. Yeah, we're a lot of work well, for, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta get back to shore now. Oh, All right. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, hell. Oh, there's a chance we'll burn up when we do that? All right, <laughs> cool. Perfect. This yeah, is anybody, worth got it. Any, anybody got any moonshine? <laughs> it's totally worth it. Uh, okay, uh, coming up, it's going to be Sexy Time with Allie Breen, one of my favorite segments. We will help you with your love life. Right now, we want to help you with your food life and your food uh, lifestyle. This is interesting. Hello Fresh. Now has over 45 recipes each week. It's not just the recipe. The box arrived. The food's in it. They've done the shopping for great recipes, 45 to choose from at least each week. And um, they also have calorie smart and protein smart options if you're trying to stay on a uh, particular food uh, plan with some uh, some eating goals this 2024. So enjoy HelloFresh. Each box is packed with fresh ingredients, of course. And they're all pre-measured. So all you do is put them together, and you've got great gourmet quality meals. What do you have over there, Jess? Oh, I have a Parmesan-crusted chicken with spaghetti and marinara. It's so delicious. Oh, my gosh. Fresh ingredients, uh, prepped and ready to eat in less than 30 minutes. And That's you, the key, Tom. Prep time in 30 minutes. You know, the key is that you don't have to go to the grocery store and walk around trying, where's the tomato paste? Uh, That's where's true. the cheese? I got to go buy a cheese. No, here you go. It's all in the box for you. So sign up today. Unlock that free dessert for life, by the way. That's right. Free dessert for life as long as you keep that uh, subscription active. So you go to HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet. That's like Bob Tom show, How Sweet. HelloFresh.com slash BTS How Sweet. And uh, get in on the action with some great food from HelloFresh. Coming up, some great advice with Allie Breen and Sexy Time. This is the Bob and Tom Show. There's a monkey here riding a dog. <laughs> yes, there is. Hi. And the monkey's name is... Where's uh, the camera? Dawn? Okay, Dawn the monkey. Dawn the monkey and Dan the dog, right? And uh, wow. the dog's name is That's Dan. Dan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the... Um, the doggy has a little saddle. Oh, look at that. And the, <laughs> and the monkey's you know, riding around uh, our at studio. At first glance, it doesn't appear as though the monkey has any control over where the dog, where the dog goes. Quite clear. Is the, is the monkey steering? The I dog? don't think the monkey is steering. Um, He's got he reins. He does have reins. Can I put my hand out? Will the monkey bite my finger? Or? Don't you uh -huh. dare spit in my pop, monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look at that little sweet. guy. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. She's drinking from James's glass. James, uh, I hope that's not a Jaeger bomb, James. <laughs> no, this, this, is a, this, is a, this is a white Russian right Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's fracking the door. <laughs> she wants the chocolate. He had hot chocolate. She's trying to oh, get the chocolate. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead I told Jenny, thanks, sweet. Cool. She'll like oh, anything. Thank you for, thank you for clarifying. Oh, that, yeah. oh, yeah. that really, she likes that. Oh, Did you see yeah. that? And you want me to tell you something? Yeah, this has never been done i've never ever turned her loose really? i mean i've always oh you that's know the what? first time i've ever turned her loose because she has the strength of 10 well it's not that, that you know i just a little uh she's relaxed and uh -huh. we can tell you know what? yeah did you see uh, what in a minute she she's gonna be drunk did you see what she did she stuck her head in there couldn't get the chocolate now she's using her hand to get down to the bottom Dipping of it out. Looking she's, her hand out yep. she's no idiot well, thanks for asking. Uh, James, do you have a smoke? She might want I one of those now. Yeah, smoke, definitely. As if this could get any better. If the monkey would smoke a cigarette. Light one up. Uh, wow. Wow. But do they have, a like, a pre... Uh, 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 how would I know where this Brace, delicately? Uh, if performance? They're, if they're going to... Uh, if they're going to defecate, do you know, or do they just like let it rip? Yeah, and they come, refill, over, guys. They come over and Apparently. ring a bell, and because uh, uh, <laughs> I, mean, uh, I, I got squelched about her playing with herself with yeah. defecation. How does that uh, work? How does that, how does that work? work? Okay, I think uh, she's going back over to see Chris. I have to go. I have to go. Oh, please. oh yeah. Okay, please go. leave a monkey turd over there. No, if you please. could, could you please, please. defecate she on his keyboard? Turn my headphones off. Please, please. That would top. 
off the show. Uh, just, uh, just a little one. <laughs> just a little baby rabbit. Have you, know, you got uh, food over there, Tom? Would you like? No, I've got iced tea. Oh yeah. Well, she. Um, hi. How are you, sweetie? You are just a, the cutest little thing. Don't walk on my. Oop, that, oh, oh, we do have a banana if we oh, want. My headphones just went off. Oh God. Bring a banana in. See if she'll eat it. Oh yeah, she'll eat a banana. She'll eat a banana. She'll eat the hell out of a banana. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. She's like a monkey on a football. <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. The son of Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Dwight Slade is, is our guest. Uh, now, Dwight is a very healthy guy, but you were saying that you had a uh, colonic? I had a colonic. It's a water skiing accident that you do on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they, yeah. they, they fill your uh, lower cavity yeah, with... Why don't you walk me through this? With water. Oh, no. Is there an audio component to this? Uh, as the uh, revealing is taking place, <laughs> like nothing I've ever heard. Uh, uh, yeah, they play. Uh, they play this. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes now. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some might bug, some might schmitz, but for me, it's Bob and Tom. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Everybody's here. There's uh, Jess and Jessica and Ace and Josh and Pat. <laughs> All the John Boy and Marianne. Have and you ever heard the uh, song? You ever heard the song Jessica by the Allman Brothers? I have. Yep. Do, 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 great song. I'm, I'm reading it. There's a whole okay book about song. that album. I'm. This is amazing. A whole really book about one album. What about the, the recovery from whoop dee do Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. uh, well, there we go. I was just waiting for her to show up. It's it's the lovely Allie Breen. Hi, Allie. How are you? Hi, guys. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Really good. Yeah. Well, good to see you. And yeah. uh, it's nice to see you and nice to hear you. And, uh, Thank you. Wait, you wait a second. Uh, Allsman wants to say something. Allie, you broke the Bob and Tom fandom last mm -hmm. week when you were talking about OnlyFans and that you were going uh. to do this Several people in Cincinnati last week stopped me and asked me if it was true. One guy waited till his wife went to the restroom to be polite and said, no, "Wow, no, seriously, is she going to show stuff? Because I pay." Is she going to show stuff? So you have a demand. Good. God. Oh, that's amazing to hear. That's so funny. I got a few messages of encouragement myself. <laughs> yet, All right. I get to be brave enough. I also just can't figure it out. I have to have a few more talks with Josh about what you're supposed to do on there. If you just post or how it. Josh has said he would be your manager. 
Yeah, that's what I need. And, exactly. Uh, someone to. Uh, well, I think your train. boyfriend should probably be your manager. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, he's got to be. He has to be involved in some way. Yeah. Uh, just for. Yeah, he'll have, he'll have take be. pictures. He'll be the photographer. Ooh. Well, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to yeah, have to be exactly. at the photo shoot, Josh, to oversee oh, this uh, process? I think I I may <laughs> have to be there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of flying. It's going to you're going to put a lot of miles on that uh car. Oh, he lo it's perfect. He loves to fly, don't you, Josh? <laughs> I do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, everybody's so pleasant at the TSA. <laughs> oh my god. god. Yeah. Josh is she's, Josh she's is such a Ruby. baby. It's unbelievable. <laughs> can you I take am, your, yeah. can you take your shoes off? Mr. Gordo. Oh, yeah. Josh takes his shoes off on planes. That's your manager, Allie. Okay? There. That's him. Now, Daddy likes to be comfortable. Allie, uh, yep. I forget who mentioned this. It was you or Josh. There is apparently a comedian or comedian, if whatever you want to call, that is on the OnlyFans uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, she's a New York girl that's very vocal about it. She just makes a fortune, she was basically saying. Is there, is there a downside to it? Uh, is there a, are you um, going to be considered less of a comedian if... I would think, imagine is it like being a, is it, it like for being, sure. Uh, yeah. Forgive me for making, making this connection, but uh, prop comics, and I'm a huge <laughs> fan, but I'm, and I'm not kidding, I... I I love a great prop comedian. I'm with you. I love them, too. I think they're so funny. Same yeah, with guitar tracks. comics. But yes. prop comics are often looked down upon by regular comedians because they have to look down on somebody, for God's sake. <laughs> um, do you think if, if she'd go, it would be like Ali Breen, oh, you know, she does OnlyFans. And then, of course, this well, guy's, I'm, you know, some big fat I'm slob. Well, you, you could do out it, on too. stage, so I don't know if it would be the exact same <laughs> thing. But, uh, yeah. I think comics judge no matter what. Yeah, there'll be some backlash. Yeah, be, but, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll and be you backlash. Can, and sure. you can laugh at them as you get in your brand new car and drive mm. home. That's the key. <laughs> yeah. To your yeah. fancy apartment. That is the key. Well, you know. Also, uh, I was joking about it, but that's where fan bases come from. It's like your biggest fans are the ones who've seen you naked. Like, from your parents <laughs> on to boyfriends to... That's oh, that's funny. Fan yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not true. <laughs> But it's an interesting uh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> thing. Oh. What do you mean There's it's not true? I mean, in real life, I don't think my biggest fans are people who have seen me naked. Your parents loved you unconditionally. They saw <laughs> you naked. Loves you. Yeah. Your girlfriend's yep. seen yeah, you naked. Yeah, but no, my, my, my I love you. I seen you naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my 11-year-old came around the corner of the day. I had a towel on, but it's, Daddy! <laughs> well, she saw you and she still loves you. Okay, I don't she know. She does. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, now, um, <clears throat> Allie. Um, you didn't have the monster out, did no, you? Oh, God, no. Now, Allie. Uh, <laughs> Would you stop? Well, I, now, I have not been on the OnlyFans pages, so. <laughs> are, it's not as fun as it used to be, man. It's not. Are, most of, the, are most of these quite oh. graphic? You'll be fun, Allie, because yeah. you'll actually be controlling. I mean, I, I, with my assistance, your page. <laughs> yes, but exactly. it used to be well, that that's every the whole point. It should be fun. Yeah, like you used to be able to actually message like the porn stars and stuff, and now they all use guys like me. <laughs> oh, so it's a it's a it's a texting thing. So yeah, that they yeah, don't yeah. know. Oh. Hey, uh, Adriana, funny. how are you today? And then Frank writes back, uh, my. Oh, I, I almost said something terrible. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm so turned on by you. Yeah, nothing makes me hotter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to get back to my yeah. video game. I'm going to make this quick. Um, <laughs> now, but can you do, uh, uh, how would I word this, sort of soft core? You can do whatever you want. I mean, would that be effective, though? Would that be? I yeah. think it would be for some people. Could she just yeah. do, like, bikini shots? Yeah. Of course. Feet. Oh. I'm, yeah. I'm all into feet stuff. I don't know who cares about showing their feet. Yeah, I will put true. my feet all over that. Place. I don't know why. Yeah. You realize someone just pulled over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's yeah. far and away the number one fetish, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We've done that yeah, story so. a couple times. Do you, do you have nice feet? Do you, do you get man manicures and pedicures? I do get pedicures in the summer. I mean... I, but like yeah. right now, are they, you know, coated in some kind of, you know, green algae? I mean, are they... Oh, algae. Yeah. Green what? algae. Hmm. Don't you mean like oil? Well, or no, we're learning about actually, Tom's fetishes. No, yeah. he's thinking like gangrene or something. No, do you have like a, you know, some kind of foot fungus in your toenails? Yeah. or? No, I have very pedicured feet, but I think foot fetish people do like weird, because Quentin Tarantino likes like filthy feet. Really? Doesn't he, oh, really? You know, he, he does like, like a little, of, yeah, he does dirty. like a little uh, dirt. A little yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't get that oh. part, yeah. Uh, why, yeah. Don't you, why don't you start with your feet and then work your way up? Yeah, exactly. If you will, Josh. That's the plan. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll plenty go of alley to go. Uh... Okay, well let's uh, let's move forward here. We have to get to our show. The the show has a point. We help people yep. with their love lives. What have we got? 
<laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend got drunk and he fell and he lost half his front tooth a few weeks ago. He keeps putting off and getting it fixed and he's totally fine with it, but I don't like being out in public with him like this. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, but I'm afraid to press him about it because I don't want to seem shallow. But I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I agree with her. Really? Yeah. Oh, that love. Yeah. 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 Well, it, uh, there's something about. You Have know, you ever had it happen to you? Taking no. care of yourself. Or you, where you, where you, you break a tooth and no. you. Uh, yeah. It just gets worse. Tell him it's going to be worse if he puts it off. And yeah. you're concerned about his, you know, gums and whatnot. Mm. Bad breath. Oh, so something make like it that. more of a. Uh, a dental health thing. Yeah. Thing. Okay, yeah. A look thing. Yeah, that's I good. knew a girl who had a crush. She eventually developed this really strong crush on Jim Carrey. And it wasn't until. He had the cap of his tooth taken off for Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, and um, that's when she developed the crush. Wow. It was the it was the crack. It was the broken tooth that she liked. Wow, oh, wow. isn't that that's a weird fetish? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that is a weird. Who's fetish. the guy in the Hangover that has the wow. missing tooth? Ed Helms in that yeah. movie, and that's yeah. real. That's yeah, so was Jim Carrey. So he had it removed and then put back on. Wow. Yeah, I I, I would can see how it might be a little embarrassing. Guy looks a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Tell people that your boyfriend's a hockey player. Yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. He's a Lemieux. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> any athlete these days. Yeah, that, that that's actually yeah. a pretty good hockey player, mm -hmm. as opposed to Hill Jack. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go to our next letter. We've we've gotten this one. We nailed it. Dear Allie, my boyfriend is into crazy things like putting me in dog collars and leashes <laughs> and having me walk on all fours. Then he'll give me champagne out of a doggy bowl. Yes. I actually oh, have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> But now he likes to take me in the backyard to pee. Mm -hmm. That's still okay. Uh -oh. uh, Tom, if you're not watching Tom, you're not watching I know. the greatest show in the world. It's still okay if our backyard was totally private, but it's not. And oh. I think he's gearing things toward to make it quasi-public, and that's kind of freaking me out. No. A, could we get in trouble for this? We both have good jobs. Maybe that's how I should tell him to stop. And B, am I being lame by not wanting him to go public? Yes, you are. You're a filthy mutt, and you need to, <laughs> oh. uh, the sooner you learn that. Uh. <laughs> Tom, what's your uh, what's your problem with this, this whole thing? You really do look. This is really wild. Uh, yeah, this it's, is. It's going to get worse. This guy's champagne in a dog bowl. And the fact that it's champagne <laughs> yeah. is really something. Yeah, yeah. but she's into yeah. all of it except for it being public. Maybe I'm not sure she's that's her. Own, well, she's acting like she is. She said it. Yeah, she yeah. said she's okay with all of it except okay. if it's for right. kinks, keep it in the bedroom yeah. or take a dump on his side of the bed, and then maybe he will figure <laughs> it out. Like the dog is not well, happy. I guess we're done with this one. Have <laughs> you considered that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, uh, way too really into it. Yeah. yeah, and then what if he rubs your face and yeah. he goes, oh, no. no, never mind. You're right. <laughs> anyway, you're a you're bad dog. A dirty little <laughs> Bowser, aren't you? Yeah. 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 That's very, oh. as uh, Chick McGee once said, uh, this sort of thing, uh, a very a lot of specificity. That is wild. That is. He's into that's. Oh yeah. Obviously, the the answer is whatever. When it gets to the point where you're not comfortable, don't do it. Say at all. it. Yes. Yeah. Do not yeah. do it. I, I mean, this. I just think I'd, you'd have to talk to a professional on this one. I, I I won't. This just keep escalating. Potentially, but she's got to say no. So whatever you're not comfortable yeah. with, please don't do. But if you're fine with being uh, leashed around the yard with that has maybe a, a tall fence, that's right. Oh, yeah. good for you. You guys. Oh yeah, found, maybe you just found each other. Fence exactly. Yeah. Oof. Go to dinner. Come get to get a nice restaurant. Sit. I don't <laughs> guess there's any. Uh, Can she any, have a her bag? Any, <laughs> any reason to ask what position he likes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I think we know. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's that's the capper. That. We're done now. Yeah, I think we're okay. done. Oh, she's not allergic to peanut butter. Yeah, let's no. uh, get to our get to our next letter. <laughs> Dear Allie, when I stay at my boyfriend's house, I park in front of his next door neighbors. They used to date, so he asked me to park around back instead, so as not to upset her. I told him I'm not hiding from anyone and I'm annoyed he's trying to protect her. He says he's not, he's just trying to be respectful. And I said, why doesn't he be respectful of me? I'm right here, right? You are, I see you girl, I see you. Why are you parking in front of his house though? I don't like yeah. having other neighbors park in front of my house. I'm like, use your own curb. But exactly. That's, but I wouldn't park out back to hide it. Yeah. Sounds like he's still uh, huh? What's this yeah. woman mad about? He's making her hide her car because the neighbor he used to date. He used to date the neighbors, and she, have, I guess, the only place to park is in front of her house. I'm, I'm with her, too. Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Have him come to your house, and then you don't have to drive, and you don't have to worry about where your car is. Hmm. Right? Uh, well, I guess, but no, she has the right. She should, he should be respectful yeah, of her. Yeah, she is open. Right. Yeah. 
It's a public street. Unless Deal Jessica's with it. right and there's other places to park and she's on purpose parking in front of the neighbors to just be like, ah. I wonder if he's. I wonder if the real yeah. issue here is that she's afraid that um, the new girlfriend's going to get her car trashed. I mean, that's that yeah. would be reasonable then to go, hey, yeah. babe, I'm just trying to protect. The, the girl was kind of crazy. I don't yeah. want her to Rare. key your car. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she uh, and she oh, wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't lift her leg when she peed in the leash. <laughs> right, and then she got all pissy when I tried to put the microchip in her. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> what if she runs off? I don't want to. You're uh, mixing things up. Oh, that's what that that's, other girl should that, do. That's go the around and start letter. peeing on cars. But that guy Did doesn't want to hurt the neighbor's feelings. Screw her feelings. Like park well, wherever. Again, I think there's more to this. I think, Maybe. I yeah. think the ex-girlfriend. He's afraid she's gonna. You know, throw a brick through the window one day. Because mm. we're still together. And a, yeah. and, a, and a note quantifying the cheating that he did with Well, her. then this woman who wrote in needs that to be explained to her. Because yeah. that, this is unfair right now. Yeah. That she doesn't yeah. know. What else yeah. do you have? We need other details if it's weirder than what you're saying. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of with her. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just Uber over there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> True. Have him pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Then she'd really be like, you're hiding me. Yeah, then it yeah. would really seem suspicious, mm -hmm. though. That, yeah, maybe he is. Maybe he's hiding something. Maybe he's trying yeah. to date both of them. I yeah, think no, so. it's not the other girl. It's just that she's ugly, and he doesn't want anybody to see him with her. <laughs> oh, have you considered? <laughs> she's hideous. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> Whatever, after. dog face, come on in. Uh, okay, let's get, we have one more letter at <laughs> least. Well, let's go. <laughs> Dear Allie, my, boy, oh, my boyfriend said he was out of town last weekend, and then my friend saw him at brunch with his ex. I, of course, flipped out. I asked him if he was with her the whole weekend. He actually said he was because she had just told him that she had cancer. <laughs> I called her to say, I'm so sorry about the news, and she had no idea what I was talking about or Jeez. who I was. Oh, oh boo. She wow. said he was just trying to get back together with her. She had no idea he was dating someone else. Now yeah. he's going over the top to make it up to me, and I actually do love him, but can I ever get over this? Girl. <laughs> wow. No. no. That's what the wild. heck? Oh, I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. That that's is crazy. A, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you don't play that card. No, yeah. of course, that's <laughs> bad karma. That, everything about that is ugly. Yeah. He is the worst person that is in the psychotic. world. <laughs> Olsman's got it right here. He's, he's a, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is a problem. You yeah, don't love yeah. him. You love the idea of having someone take care of you. Get out. Yeah, like, you may have to psychopath. get out of this. That's he might bummer. kill you one day. This is how crazy <laughs> okay, he is. Okay, she's real fired up. Oh, oh, okay. We have time for one more letter now that we've established that that... Guys, a real creep. Okay, yeah. well, what else? What else we got here? Uh, dear Allie, I think my girlfriend is a hobo sexual. Oh, meaning she moves in with boyfriends immediately and just lives off them. <laughs> She's at my house every night, and we were thinking she should just move in, but now I'm worried that literally the last three guys she was with, she lived with for two years and moved right into someone's house right afterwards, and I'll just be part of this pattern. Mm -hmm. But I do actually want to live with her, so what should I do? Well, then just live with her. Let the squatter live there. <laughs> I like it. And I like the term hobosexual. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty that. good. Yeah. What do you call that thing with the stick and the handkerchief with your stuff in it? A bindle. A bindle? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, get her, oh, get her one of those for Christmas. It'll yeah. be great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, can you read the beginning again? I'm confused. What's, what is happening here? He's worried. She has a pattern of go breaking up with the person that she's been living with and moving in with the next guy immediately. This has happened yep. three times in a row. It's okay. not uncommon. Okay, but the, it, these aren't homeless dudes. No, no. no. So she's just really a hobo. Her. Okay, I yeah. see. Yeah. No, she's I the see. one that's no, kind of homeless. But she's the one doing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And he wants to live with her, but is afraid that he's part of the pattern. Well, but it, to me, you answer, if you want to live with her, just give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah, write out this pattern, bud. Yeah, exactly. And he, he, wants, the end to, of the pattern. he yeah. wants to live with her because she's probably not ugly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, like the one in the previous right. line. A lot of un hideous. ugly women mm -hmm. men like. Yes, <laughs> the, the, the unugly that. ones. I yeah. love this theme you guys have adopted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So You're the tolerance right. level is two years that they can put up with her before she's oh. probably broken up with or kicked out. Because yeah. do you think she leaves the guy to find someone else? Or it doesn't sound like it, but who knows? Yeah. Hmm. This oh, may be yeah. the one, man. Give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, very useful information. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> Allie, are you working this weekend in New York? I am. I'm up in Yonkers at the Yonkers Comedy Club. I got lost there it's once. Be careful. <laughs> lost in Yonkers. That's a Neil Simon <laughs> joke. <Literary> joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be thinking about the OnlyFans thing. I, I, for those listening, if you think she should do it, uh, email us. And yeah, will, let's uh, hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling Josh later on. We're going to work on this. All right. I mean, I think that's Perfect. Still, I mean, if you, especially if you start with just your feet. 
Yeah, you've yeah, already totally. made that's a thousand dollars this month easily. Yeah, just with the feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you uh, yeah, comfortable no with dildo play? Oh, my gosh. Wait, is that a Neil Simon? Is that what you have to do is, is with that... your feet? I knew there's more to the foot thing. You have to rub them all over a... Like, will you, uh, yeah, use a, that with your yeah, feet? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's, you're, <laughs> uh, that's 5000 <laughs> Oh, that's a thing? Oh, yeah. my gosh, yep. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. Simulate yeah, the... Tom, you've, you've got to get out more. Yeah. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I don't think I want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Are you okay with drinking champagne out of a dog bowl? I mean, I mean, I actually, you know, the drinking champagne out of a dog bowl, <laughs> Seems to me to be semi-normal compared to f- doing footsie with a, 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 a some kind of plastic phallus. <laughs> he, he used the term footsie. <laughs> Sorry. He's used oh, we okay. got this. This is going to be great. This is a windfall. Uh, yeah, Allie, I, uh, the, the, a year from now we're to be laughing. Can Allie, I, uh, Allie calls from her penthouse apartment. Or I should, yeah, exactly. I should get copters in. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Arnold, is there? you have any room for investors? Uh, I do, yes. Okay, yeah. excellent. All right. okay. Well, thank you, Allie. <laughs> See you in Yonkers. Bye, Allie. Oh, boy. Well, let me tell you about Simply Safe, Tom. The design it yourself, do it yourself home security system, and you know the story. Best home security system for 2024. They were named that by U.S. News and World Report, and Newsweek awarded Simply Safe best customer service in home security. Simply Safe has it all sensors to detect break ins, fires, floods, indoor and outdoor high definition cameras. They keep watch 24 hours a day, seven days a week, backed by 24-7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. And Simply Safe professional monitoring agents can even help stop crime in real time by speaking tru- to intruders through the wireless indoor camera, warning them that they are being recorded and police are on their way. There's no contract and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Try Simply Safe risk-free if you don't love it. I've never heard of that, but you could send the system back for a full refund. Simply Safe has given us and many Bob and Tom Show listeners real peace of mind, and we want you to have it too. And there's a special deal: get 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Right now. Look at your phone. Oh, look, there's my garage. How cool is that? You'll be able to see what's going on at your place when you're not even there. Simply Safe. Read the reviews. People love it. Right now, I can tell you this. We're coming back with an important history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a... Slide guitar. Uh, I wrote a song a long time ago called "The Lifelong Tiger Fan Blues." I know the Cubs and have issues, and but the Tigers uh, mm-hmm. have had for a long time. And I wrote it when we were like oh for nineteen years, <laughs> and um, and then we got good in two thousand and six. But then this particular season, twenty ten here, um, we're, we we uh, we were great, and then we you know went off the cliff. So I yep. rewrote it about a week ago. Uh- fan since I was a little boy I had a bedroom full of little baseball toys batting a ball and a Wilson glove yeah me and the national pastime we was oh so in love every opening day oh I still get that itch I can hardly wait for that very first pitch all my hopes and dreams all in place I get visions of my tigers in a pennant race Win or lose, I got a lifelong Tiger fan blue. 2006, we made it all the way to the fabled fall classic, only get a St. Louis whooping and our Detroit ass kicked. <laughs> 2009, we was tied with the Twins. We had to go to Minnesota to lose it again. 2010 started off with a bang. We was leading the league in everything. (laughs) Hang on. It's for you. Oh, but come the all-star break, our season's done. Our goose is cooked, oh, they're setting our sun. 
win or lose, I get a lifelong Tiger fan blues. Bring back K line, bring back cash, bring back Greenberg, and all them homers eat smash. Mickey Cochran, schoolboy row, Ty Cobb and Rocky Calavito. Win or lose, got a lifelong Tiger fan blue. And this is the rewrite. First, Samaya broke his arm, then Inge broke his hand while Mags was breaking his foot, Gian was pulling his ham. <laughs> Half of our roster was MIA. Now half of Toledo has been called up to play. I don't believe in fate. I don't believe in signs. And waiting on your destiny's a waste of time. But how the hell else can we possibly explain Armando Galarraga's imperfect game? <laughs> Win or lose, I got a lifelong Tiger Van Blue. Nice guys finish last. You can't have a future if you don't have a past. Yet still I hope, still I pray. Another World Series gonna come my way. But folks, mark my words and learn this lesson. Cut your losses and count your blessings. Or just like me, you're gonna end up crying while spending Sunday afternoons with the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's some frustration there. Jeff yeah. Daniels. The imperfect game. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. <laughs> okay. Don't forget that. All right. Well, thank you for every. Uh... That ought to get you. Uh... Well, yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I see by the, the, the way we have a shortened show today. And uh, thanks for calling uh, today. And uh, it's been the Mr. Insinuation Show. Mm -hmm. The show. You know. Yeah, you know. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Fabulous program. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Yeah, this is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. It's time once again for people who suck at small talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I. F Ass. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm. Storm. And you're oh, Bravo. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Time now for today. Hey, what, you got a plane to catch? In history. <laughs> oh, you do? No, I'm trying to get him uh, away from doing anything else in this slot. Ah, yeah. man, you're smart. Oh, yeah. Time now for today in history. Tom. Okay, today is uh, um, April 4. April 4. Let's see. Um, uh, William Henry Harrison. Who's oh, that now? Oh, he died a month after taking office. Yep. Remember? Yeah. He, he, gave he, uh, a, he was. Didn't he have like the two-hour speech? Or yeah, he gave a really long speech and got no sick. Weather, yeah. Wow. Although that's not how you catch a cold, no, right? No. You don't really. Well, aren't outside really like that. Recovered. Okay. Um, I kind of a short presidential story, really. Just that yeah. one month. <laughs> He won? Yeah, okay. And he's first, out. first hundred day, oh, hours. No. Uh, okay, Paul Allen and Bill Gates founded Microsoft on this date in uh, 1974. Hmm. Uh, it was a big thing, um, of course. Um, oh, here we go. Here's something happy. Happy birthday to, uh, oh, this is in, in, in a quiz form. I'll do this one for Ms. Alsman. McKinley Morgan Field. Yeah. I know nothing about in the, who in, is the, this? in the musical realm. One of the greats. Uh, is this Bye Bye Birdie? No, no, guy? Muddy Waters, the great Muddy Waters. Oh, no, I don't know that at all. I'm sorry. Uh, nobody. Uh, no. Muddy Waters <laughs> forgot that was his name. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm Maya Angelou, another uh, great name, American poet. It's her birthday? Yeah, in okay. 1928. Mm. Um, oh, here's a good one 1932. Anthony Perkins. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Tony to his friends. Uh, Psycho, of course. Yeah. Oh, he didn't open the Perkins restaurant? No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. That was his uh, grandfather. Yes. What, what is today? The fourth? Mm -hmm. It's Aunt Susie's birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Susie. Oh, how about that? <laughs> oh, I, 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 <laughs> well, you I, I didn't make the list <laughs> here. Oh, Susie Q? Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a name I've always thought was weird. Uh, very good actor, British actor, Hugo Weaving. Oh, yeah. Very good. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> You know what it is? It's the smell. <laughs> I can't take it. His daughter's a good actor too, Samara Weaving. She's good. What, what well, else? What she, else? She's is, always good the next day. Though. What is Hugo in? <laughs> uh, the Matrix, V for Vendetta, the Lord of the Rings yeah, you know. movies, yeah. and, another, yeah, no, no. and another Matrix, and another Matrix. <laughs> uh, 1965, Robert Downey Jr. Academy Award winner. R D G. R D G. R D J. You're doing mm. great. Thank you. Um, and. Uh, uh, let's see, that's too sad. What? Which one was too sad? Grumpy Cat. Oh, oh he died? It's not sad. He yeah. celebrated the life of Grumpy Cat. Great okay. life. Yeah. yeah. He fell out a window. What happened? Yeah, he just died. I think he didn't even make it quite a few years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Born in 2012. Ooh, did, maybe. Did he land on his feet? I don't know. Is he still with us? I don't know. Uh, no, he's not. He's dead. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. Boy, I shouldn't have read this. His owner had to get a real job, huh? Uh, he yeah. died in 19. Yeah, he died in 2019. Seven okay. years old. You're so fine sorry. reading it. We remember Grumpy Cat fondly. Oh, yeah, hardly knew him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much all we learned of interest today. Okay. Um, Time now for what we learned on the show. Show Hey Otani hit his first home run. Show. That's right, show. Hey! Oh, Donnie! No, that's all right. All right, maybe we'll get we'll get there. It, maybe squeeze a hair off. Uh, Stefan Diggs got uh, traded to the Houston Texans. That's I can Stephon dig it. Stefan Diggs, what? Can I can dig, dig it. it. You can dig it. Can you dig it? Mm. I can dig it. She can dig it. <laughs> you know what? I can dig it. Oh, oh my oh, gosh! How's that? Thank you. Can you dig it, baby? You ever said that to anybody? No, but I will. I like but that. Can you dig it? Yeah, can you dig it? Are you digging this? Yeah, I dig it. Really? You know, like a, yeah, like I a like it. 50s beatnik? <laughs> sure. <Okay. laughs> I'm way gone, man. <laughs> what would you... Uh, real what, gone. That's fall, a, you're going to fall by your pad? I'm real what, gone. Before yeah. you, <laughs> what would your parents have done had you come home and uh, with, a, with a goatee and said, I'm going to be a beatnik, Mom, Dad? <laughs> They would have probably... Your dad would look at you and go, oh, you're real gone, cat. Yeah, man. Ooh. No, that would not have happened. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, if you want any more roofs over your head. 
Uh, nobody won the Powerball jackpot. Next drawing Saturday night, one point two billion. You probably would have bought me a beret. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's my understanding that uh, this is the uh, the headgear <laughs> worn by folks like you. I see. Now I I've ordered some bongos from Sears. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you get bongos when you were a kid? Probably. They had everything. Yeah, Sears? Sure. Bongos, guitars. Do you remember the Sears Wish Book? Oh, yeah. With the toys? In? Oh, man. I looked I looked forward all year to that. Yeah, we would circle things. We would, yeah. too. Yep. Do you have an Amazon wish list? Me? Yeah. No, uh-uh. I do. Because they had that on there, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine is just full of things I'd eventually like to purchase. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an example? Uh, books that I want to get, but I'm not going to buy until I finish a few others, that kind books. of thing. Oh, Mr. I, I know, I'm a dork. Josh reads books. I'm a yeah. dork. <laughs> okay. I just go ahead and buy them? Instead <laughs> of the wish list thing? <laughs> oh, I have yeah, no, list, I, yeah. I'm trying to behave myself. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and I'm also trying to buy things at independent bookstores. Amazon well, that is, rules the world. Very they don't need my Very money. Nice you, right. so. Do right. they sell those kind of books at independent bookstores? They, oh! <laughs> That's Spanky's? Sp yes, yeah. Aren't they called Spank books? What are they? Uh, okay. should they be? What would they call that? Uh, uh, oh, Tom will tell you when we come come off the air. What, okay. What is it a pop-up book? Or like... Wow, do you think they made those in pop-up book? Well, it's a pop-up for Josh. Fluffer <laughs> a fluffer diary in 3D. Look, I've, I've popped up. <laughs> and fluffer. don't... Uh, whatever, you, whatever you do, don't forget this lesson from today's show. If you're ever on the air anywhere with Tom Griswold, don't look at him. <laughs> He's busy. That was so good. <laughs> it was some boring sports thing. <laughs> I was trying to find something. Else. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page